I just basically went and salvaged some lumber. That's pretty much all I did. Um, did I sell it? I sold some trinkets. I salvaged some lumber and I got some money together. That was pretty much all I did. I didn't want to do anything story-wise. I haven't been to the island yet. I haven't been to the new town or anything like that. Um, yeah, so we're just gonna we're just gonna carry on. I need to move my keyboard out of the way very slightly. There we go. Make sure my mouse doesn't. I also haven't picked this up. Do you know how much self-control I've had to have? I've had to have to not pick this up. Like, good grief, I've really wanted to pick this up. So let's pick this up now and find out what it is. Collect item. An ancient manifest. Ooh. An ancient manifest. Vessel, the SY Grand Prize. Uh, owner, Mr. Michael Schutt. Port Gale Cliffs. Oaken music box, wooden mask, 12-piece tea set, jar of earth, jar of dirt. <laughs> Are we going after a jar of dirt? Uh, oaken music box purchased from the antiquarian in Li at Little Marrow for a bargain price. Previously salvaged from an undisclosed shipwreck. Has the letter J carved on the uns underside. Otherwise, in reasonable condition, it has not been opened for fear of damaging the mechanism pending inspection by locksmith. Carved wooden tribal mask said to bring good luck, fertility, good health, fortune, rain, and protection from evil spirits. Uh, traded for a pair of socks and a pocket watch chain. 12-piece tea set, bone china, six cups, six saucers, acquired from an eastern dealer, do not use. And jar of earth, a jar containing earth from a meteor impact site, apparently. Allegedly. All right. Uh, wait, does that mean that's going to be somewhere? The grand prize. Right, let's go to the actual bit. Hey, Diginferno, how are you doing? <gasps> Hopefully, everything's now working fine. Hopefully. Get ourselves some fish. Oh, Cack. He says he'll be better at this. I'm still in the wrong place, aren't I? I could be better like top corner, maybe? But then where's chat gonna go? Where is chat gonna go? That's the question. That's the question we all need answering. Oh, I've done it. <laughs> I thought I'd, just, I'd screwed that up then. Uh, right. Now that's. I think I'm okay where I am. I'll be honest. <clears throat> what is that? What is that? And why can't I get there? That's a shipwreck. Power boost debris. Clearing this would take some strong explosives. Yeah, you're not wrong. Okay, let's stock here. See what we've got. An old man emerges from one of the nearby broken buildings and hobbles towards you. Ah, oh, ah, greetings. I uh, don't get many visitors around here. Uh, what is it you need? This place doesn't seem safe. Why do you live here? I, uh, I've been stubbornly holding out for quite some time. Truth be told, I've been reconsidering my position lately. Uh, I've been happy here for so long. My wife and I, such a beautiful life. Until the collapse. Now I'm alone and cut off by land and sea. Left only with these trembling rocks on all sides. I could help you move to Ingfell. Oh, it's not that simple. My brother would never... You see, I used to live in Ingfell with my brother. He was a whaler back in the day. Things were bad. We fought a lot. Mostly about how our parents' inheritance should be divided. We were in the prime foolishness of our youth. When my wife and I decided to move here, we I took the family crest. I stole it from him. Now, after all this time, I can't return without it. Well, where is it? That's where the problem lies. After the collapse, that creature, it dragged debris from the houses down to the wretched burrows. The crest went down with it. It's a lost cause, I know, but if you were to ever find it, it's a large whalebone crest. It'd mean the world for me. Uh, I'll look for it. Yeah, sure, I'll look for it. Thank you, but please, be careful. Uh, oh, this is just ruins. I assume this was a town. Oh, maybe Ingfell is... Oh, maybe Ingfell's over there. 
Uh, what am I supposed to be doing? Uh, you were gonna keep an eye out for the family crest. Yeah. Oh wait, what else did he say? What did he say? It patrols the passageways of the cliffs, but its lair is somewhere towards the center, by the large waterfall. Uh, I've marked the area on your map. Perhaps you could look there for it. If it's too troublesome, don't don't worry about it. What else do you want to know? Do you know how clearly the debris ah. went here? Mm. Well, you'd probably need some explosives to shift those rocks. My brother at Ingfell used to make explosives. For the whaling operations, you see. Nasty stuff, but with the whales all gone, I can't imagine he's still in business. What else do you want to know? Do you know of any shipwrecks around here? Well, someone that used to live here kept that ship moored at the base of the cliff until it was struck by some fallen rocks and sunk to the bottom. They were devastated at the loss. We all were. It was a beautiful boat, decorated with all manner of memorabilia from the travels. At low tide, I could see what's left of the masthead poking through the waves. What happened to these cliffs? Oh, they're being consumed by the co for, from the core by that hateful serpent. Have you seen it? No. No one believed me. They all laughed at me. They all laughed at me. Not until I start, they started devouring our foundations, opening up chasms beneath our homes. It was nightmarish, waking in the night to the sound of the creature slithering somewhere underneath. It seems to have turned its attention elsewhere, but not before it took everything from me. What else do you want to know? Uh, that's, uh, ooh, tell me more about the creature. Oh, it's been burrowing tunnels through the base of the cliffs. You can see the gigantic holes it leaves just below the surface. As it forces its way out, it often causes rock falls. So, if you plan on going in there, keep an ear out. Should you catch sight, should it catch sight of you, well, you should be able to outrun it. It's quite slow, provided you can navigate the passageways. What else did you want to know? That's it. I'm out. I'm done. Hey, Princess Pizza 13, how you doing? You love the new emos. Thank you. Thank you very much. It took me ages to get the rolling skull right. I don't know what... Something about it just did not want to upload at all. Uh, I think that's everything for here, I think. I mean, I can't sell you any fish, so I'm just going to undock. I've got some new quests, though, which is, which is cool. Uh, gigantic holes under the water, you say? I don't remember seeing any gigantic holes under the water. Where is the town? Is that the town? That looks like a town. That looks like a town. How you doing, Princess Peter? How you doing? You having a good Thursday? Oh, what's... Can I dock here? Nope. Can I... Ah, I can dock here, though. I was like, I can't dock here either. I'm going to run into the wall. A retired whaler and an Ingfell resident. And we've also got my story. That's it, basically. Uh, Inkfell doesn't have something for me. Retired whaler. <clears throat> what is it? Uh, I heard you used to make explosives. Aye, I did. Sometimes the carcass needed breaking up. Yeah, it wasn't the most efficient or the most pleasant, but it got the job done. Yeah, I've been thinking about getting back into it. I might be able to rustle up some strong enough to clear those debris piles in the cliffs. Uh, but I'm not sure. He looks like a really old Popeye. <laughs> he looks like the gritty reboot of Popeye. I don't have the energy for it these days. I have use of explosives like that. All right, I'll think on it some more, but I make no promises. <laughs> Anything else? Are there any shipwrecks around here, mate? Oh, the real wreck around here is the settlement of Gale Cliffs. My brother ditched us and moved over to the cliffs years ago. I suspect he's regretting his decision now, the devil. Anything else? You heard of any strange things in the area? Yeah, some time ago, just after the last whale was bought in, there was a sudden exodus from Gale Cliffs. Dozens of ships sailed past, packed up and hurried away north as fast as they could. They were waving and shouting something at us from the boats, but we couldn't make it out. Never did see or hear from them since. Anything else? What can you tell me about Inkfell? Well... Ingfell used to be a whaling town, emphasis on the used to be. We would go out, bring in a carcass, and then the rest of the town would get to work. But the whales got scarce some 20 years ago, and now look at us, 
barely scraping by for a new candle. Anything else? Nope, that's it. I'm good. Um, da, 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 da. Oh, I'm sorry you're stressed, Princess Peter. Oh, I'm sorry. You're all right, all things, all things considered. In the need a new job headspace currently. I relate. I can completely relate with that. Yeah. I'm enjoying my job. Like, I like being paid for the work that I do. I just don't... Uh, it's just not the same place I joined, if that makes sense. So, yeah, I'm not actively applying for somewhere, but every now and then something will happen, and I'm just like, I, I could probably do it with a new job. I need to move my face, don't I? I'm going to go for a fact. Popeye's dad's name is Poop Deck Pappy, and that kills me. <laughs> oh, no, your position's been... Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, that sucks so much. I have I have been in that camp, and I'm very, very sorry about it. Um, if I move myself up uh, uh, there, maybe, maybe over here, like if I'm, oh god, I'm snapping, there we go, let's just try and hold control while I do this, there we go, let's try there and let's see if I'm in, in the way of anything there, I'm probably going to be in the way of something, let's undock a second, I'm in the way, a tiny bit of my inventory, but that's fine, uh, I wonder if this is something game designers have to think about, like, where streamers' faces are going to go in the UI. Yeah, that's fine. I think, I think that's that's good for me, isn't it? Yeah, that's fine. Uh, right. Ingfell resident. Yeah, because Murica. Oh, I'm sorry. Pete. I'm sorry, Princess Pizza. I really am. I hope you find something else soon. Uh, what is it? Uh, do you doubt with anything? Well, I've been trying to prepare a special meal for my partner, but I've been having some issues. Uh, around here, we consider aged conga, aged conga eels to be a particular delicacy. You may say they're rotten, but they're delicious if prepared correctly. Look, look at that dog. I want to pet the dog. Look at the doggy. Hey, Catmus, how you doing? Good to have you here. How you doing, man? Uh, put yourself in the middle. Nothing important is ever there. Just a one of those bad Twitch layout screens, just like me, full screen, and then the game, this tiny window in the corner. Uh, normally, we bury them in the ground and allow them to mature, but our dogs keep digging them up and eating them. Look at that good dog. I can't raise the subject without spoiling the surprise. Can you bring me an aged conga eel? Uh, yes. Thanks. You'll be decently compensated. I bet I won't. Uh, where can I catch conga eel? Ah, uh, yes, uh, they'd be tricky to find. I'm told they inhabit the holes and burrows within the cliffs themselves. I imagine they've been fished out from the edges, so you might have to venture into the passageways of the cliffs to find I can go in their cliffs? That's amazing. Oh, I, keep, I keep moving in my chair and I keep regretting it because I went to the gym last night. <laughs> oh. oh, and did I mention that they only come out at night? Well, yes, I believe they hide during the day. Good luck. Uh, what can you tell me about the cliffs? Uh, many years ago, the cliffs used to be a haven for smugglers and pirates. Legend tells of two pirate lords who used gay old cliffs as their hideout. Supposedly, they got in some disagreement, and a huge battle was fought on the south side of the cliffs. There's certainly a large number of wrecks in that area. <laughs> note that down, note that down. Both sides were completely destroyed. Their treasure halls left abandoned and unclaimed to this day. I dare say they'd be worth a lot if anyone knew where to find them. And had the equipment for dredging. Uh, do you know of any odd characters around these parts, mm. other than everybody? Uh, have you heard the tale of... Magrin? Honest to God, I kept wanting to say Morgan then. that My brain put those letters in a completely different order. Have you heard the tale of Magrin? He's an old whaler from these parts. And as the whales got more scarce, the crews spent longer and longer at sea trying to find him. Magrin, it seems, wasn't cut out for this. He formed an unnatural attachment to a scroll he found on one of those trips. He says the scroll told him how to become immortal by eating mutated fish. People started calling him Magrin the Fishman. I mean, that kind of sounds like what our fishmonger's doing right now. One day, the town awoke to find all the boats, nets, and lines had been slashed in the night, and old Magrim was nowhere to be found. 
nor has he been since. It's the fishmonger. Where can I sell my fish here? Well, we catch fish. We, we catch our fish ourselves here, so we don't have much need for buying any. But there's a merchant that travels around. She's usually anchored across the bay. She buys and sells almost anything. She does repairs, too. Anything else? Nope. Not gonna lie, my difficulty was between Magrin and Nagrin. Then again, 360p. That's fair. I sometimes do that when I'm on uh, mobile. I'm just like, I was like, rewind that. Boost the detail. I need to read what that was. Uh, that's everything here, isn't it? I mean, it's half past six, but I'm definitely not worried about going out at night. Right, let's go sell... Uh, what fish have we got? We've got some blackmouth salmon. Good. Good. Let's grab a couple of more. Fish. Oh, this feels a lot better with controller. I mean, I'm sure... Don't get me wrong. I, I love PC gaming, but I do love me a good controller game. Oh, this spot has been depleted. Okay. Light on, light off. Light on, light off. Light on, light off. Wax on, wax off. Wax on, wax off. Hello. Traveling merchant. Uh, I'd like to sell all my fish, please. I'll buy fish that aren't totally fresh. Okay, uh, uh, wait. But if it started to rot, I can't pay you any. For okay, that's fine. Well, these are all fresh, right? Yeah, they're all fresh. I wonder how long it takes for something to rot. Oh, I've got a, got a champion salmon there. Uh, sell everything. Sweet. Um, right, what do we... What do I want to do? I'll wait for a bit. I'll rest for a bit. I say a bit. I'll rest until morning, obviously. Um, and then undock. The south side of the island, you say? What's that? That's a that's a cyclone. That's what that is. I need to get out of the way of that. Bye. See you later, mother flipper. All right. Also, very highly important members of the audience. Uh, best fish puns. If you know them, throw them. Oh hello. What's that? Fish. What? What is that? I don't have the. Oh, okay. Ocean. Never need a reason to nap. What is, what is in here? Is this a way? Is it? Oh, the controller vibrated, and I wasn't used to it. Is this through? Is this through the rocks? Is that what? Right. Okay. Calm down, Smith. You got this. Ooh, salvage. Uh, hello. That fish is gonna try and kill me. I gotta go. I gotta go. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. Hull's damaged. Oh, God. Hull is damaged. Hull is damaged. I gotta go. I gotta leave. I'd like to leave. Ooh, shinies. Oh, that's rocks. Oh, rocks. Uh, ooh, more shinies. <gasps> the angler fishing out of wilds. Oh, my God. Uh, you can just sod off, mate. I salvaged that earlier. That's why we got some so much lumber. How damaged am I? Oh, I'm I'm very damaged. I'm on fire. That's how damaged I am. I'm on fire. I didn't actually realize I could get that damaged. Hi. <laughs> could you? No, not Doc. Could you fix my ship? Did you run aground into rocks or something? Well, we should make some repairs. I can see right through your hull. Stop looking through my hull. God damn it. Right, I'm out. <sighs> Cheeky drink. <laughs> it's not like the ship is made of wood or anything. That's fine. Yeah, the angler fishing out of wilds. Whoa, that was a trip. Oh, God. That was such a good game out of Wilds. That deserved that fucking BAFTA, I'm telling you. Oh, I gotta take my gloves off. I'm not actually cosplaying as a fisherman today. <laughs> it's just been really cold, so I've currently got fingerless gloves on, but I don't actually need them because it's starting to heat up in here now. What with all the lights on.
Right. Stealth, 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 stealth. Stealth, stealth, stealth. Oh, God. Camera. Camera is the true enemy in this game. Dredge, 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 dredge. Keep an eye on the thingy. Oh, God. Oh, God. I'm not panicking. You're panicking. Fuck. Excellent. Right. Bolts of cloth. Oh, good. It's, it's now really late. Shit. I didn't quite realize it was that. Oh, my God. It's really dark. What's that? A pile of debris. Oh, it's just, just another. You need explosives for this bit. bit. Eels? Not eels. This isn't going to be eels, is it? No, it's not eels at all. Can I sneak over here? I can sneak over here. <gasps> Shinies. Beautiful. Bag of doubloons. Got it. Anything else? No. He said there'd be treasure. Oh, somebody's not happy with me. Let's maybe just nip back to the... Oh, dear. Nip back in here. Oh, there's a cyclone. I still to this I do not know what they do, but I don't want to find out. Right. I I'm just gonna sell this one fish. Is this an aberrant fish? It is an aberrant fish. Cool. And then I'm gonna rest for I mean that's probably I'm probably fine like that, right? I'm probably fine. I'm gonna go for another scout. What about, so the south side of the island, you said? Turn the lights off. Why well, have I got my lights on? <gasps> more dredge, more dredge! Oh, my days. So much. So much scrap. There's a lot of vibrating and, like, weird noises going on around here. I'm not, I'm not too keen on that. Be careful not to catch a giant anglerfish. Try not to. Oh, I wonder if you can. That'd be amazing. Uh, oh, turd. Uh, uh, I need to do inventory management. Do da, don't I? There we go. Right, there's, so there's dredge there. There's dredge. No, that's fish. Okay, there's lumber there, which is fine. Let's go for a scout. There's what looks like scrap metal there, which is good. Oh, <gasps> there's a message in a bottle. Yoink. September something. I can't remember what it is. September 9th. 9th September. August. So this is like two weeks later. You wonder if the character's name is Judge Dredge. Oh my days, Catmus. <laughs> He still refuses to take me aboard when he's working. He's convinced that I will find it dull or that the crew will be crass or something intolerable or otherwise intolerable. Perhaps I'm being overly needy. I know he needs time alone, but I'm so desperately bored at home while he's away. He recently installed some salvaging equipment on the boat. I think the idea of pulling up treasure is terribly exciting and must convince him to let me have a go. I'm just going to get rid get out of the way of this bloody cyclone. I think some of those move. I'm sure I've seen some of them move. Fishes. Mm, that sounds like a big fish. Mm. Something golden. That's a rock. <laughs> Not even a gold rock. That's a rock. The waterfall. What is this? 
dredge. Oh, it's the thing. Oh, okay. No, I'm definitely not going to have space for that, am I? Okay, so it's it's going to be here then. Cool. Is there something behind the waterfall? Please let there be something behind the waterfall. I will go very slowly through the waterfall. There is something behind the waterfall! Disturbed or abyssal. I don't have the right stuff for this. Oh, that's going to be the eel, isn't it? What's this? A rotten chest that's tossed a pile of rubble at the back of the cave. Look inside. I got stuff I can't carry. Yeah! Uh, can I carry any of this refined metal I can take? What's this? That's it. There's a big bag of doubloons. I do not have the space for that. Like, at all. I don't have the space. I don't think I could make the space for that. Uh, that went there. No, that would go there. No, I don't. Uh, no, and I'm going to have to come back for that. Curses! Oh, camera. Come on, you can do this. I believe in you. Don't, I was going to say, don't give me a waterfall if you don't want me to check behind it. There's, oh, God, there's more. There's so much dredge around here. I need a bigger boat. I'm going to need a bigger boat. Uh, excuse me. What? Something didn't sound very happy then. What's this? Is this like an abandoned spot? Can I sleep here for a bit? Oh, I can. Well, no, it's a dock. I don't know if I can sleep here yet. I can sleep here. Oh, campsite. You stand at the center of the campsite. The fire's embers are cool, but ash is still steadily blowing out with the wind. Take a closer look at the campfire. Look for footprints. Check for makeshift tent. Check the makeshift tent. Do that first. The tent is a sheet of cloth suspended over some sticks. There's nothing inside, save for a smothered, a smoothed hollow in the dirt where someone slept. Uh, look for footprints. You find no footprints, but unfamiliar symbols have been sketched in the dust nearby. Some have been erased with a hasty sweep of a foot. If you're desperate enough, you can nap anywhere. Exactly, exactly right? Uh, take a closer look at the campfire. A large flat rock sits atop a char the charred wood of the campfire. A handful of tiny fish bones can be seen poking out of the ashes. Kick the ashes. You kick the ashes. Your foot hits something hard at the bottom of the pile. You brush the remnants aside. It's a research part. Excellent. You take it. I'm out. Abandoned campsite. Uh, rest. Like, at least for a bit. That'll do. Just get my sanity back so I can chug along and take this stuff. Is that dredge or fish? That's dredge. Oh my god, there's so much treasure. We're going to be rich. We're going to be rich as kings and queens, respectively, depending on what how you feel that day. Oh, it's like another message in a bottle. Another message. Oh no, it's dredge. What is this? I don't know what that is. I can't, I can't get it. Ends with a bloody inventory. I have sanity. Immersion ruined. Well, my character has sanity. I don't have any sanity. <laughs> that went a long time ago, man. I probably went during COVID, to be fair. Oh, wait, hang on. I've got a speedy uppy thing, haven't I? Meow, boost. Choo choo! <laughs> choo choo! <laughs> okay, let's not explode my engine. Choo choo! <laughs> I feel very cavalier with this boat today. <laughs> I feel like I'm just like, I can do anything. I can do what I want. Uh, here, I don't have any fish. All I have is stuff that I want to keep. So I need my storage. My storage. Uh, I don't have the storage for this. Shot. Um, uh, no, I really don't. Well, cack. Uh, right, uh, we probably need to go sell some stuff. I mean, but first, I'm going to go back for that big bag of doubloons. And go there. Right. Oh, yeah, that can, that can go there. Yeah, good. All right, we're going to need to keep this on me. Oh, wait, I can assign stuff, can't I? 
to research projects, uh, not research projects, to upgrades. The shipyard? No. Not the shipyard, the flowing dock. That's what, there we go, lovely. So I've assigned some cloth and some scrap to that. Two lots of cloth to that. Two lots of scrap. Uh, what's this for? Two cargo nets. Fucking purchase. Absolutely purchase, mate. Uh, lumber and lumber. Yeah, sure. Go for it. I mean, I can't upgrade anything else until I've upgraded these. Lumber. Ching. And two modifies two cargo nets to also hold rods. Lovely. So I can hold more rods. Lumber and lumber. It's a... <laughs> lumber and lumber. Attorney at law. Yes. Lovely. Now I can get a new hull. What's the new hull? I need... I don't know what I need. <gasps> I've got some of that. Oh, my days. Refined metal. Is that cloth? It is cloth, I think. Part of cloth, yeah. Oh, I need so much more lumber. Oh, my God. I need more lumber. But I've got everything else. Ho, 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 boy. Oh, I can't. I thought, I thought I could go the other way. If there's a location called Law, can you be attorney at Law at Law? <laughs> Probably, yeah. <laughs> that would be fun. With three brothers, all called Law. <laughs> law, Law, and Law. Attorney at Law at Law. Oh, I need three pieces of lumber to get my new hull. Right, let's go. Let's go get our new lumber. A new hole, sorry. We went back this way, wasn't it? Yeah. Pew! Boost! All power to the engines. Are you dredge? No, you're moving. You're not dredge. Fah, get out of here. I don't need you. I need some lumber, not some fish. What's that? Whee! Go on here. The stone hums quietly, sending ripples through the air around it. Faint shapes dance upon its surface, vanishing before your eyes can focus on them. Sure, place my hand upon the stone. This is how every prof prophecy starts. The cold stone does not respond to your touch. <laughs> Rude. <laughs> Wait, it made me feel inadequate. <laughs> you are not the chosen one. <laughs> Was it this way? I'm going to go this way. I don't know if it was this way. I'm going to go this way. I kind of feel like I want to zoom out. Like, I wish that was an option. That's fine. Lumber! Lumber! Oh, nothing like a bit of lumber support, eh? <laughs> It's okay. I know I'm hilarious. Dredge. My jokes are just dredgeful. Oh, God, no. That was boost. I don't want to boost. I want my lights. That's what I want. Boop. Night time dredging. Night time dredging. Night time dredging in the sea. In the sea. Night time dredging. Night time dredging. Night time. Gonna get squashed by a rock, aren't I? I can see the dust. Let's be let's be reasonably quick about this. He says immediately failing. <laughs> One of it's a lumber fish. I don't have the space for that. No. The fish puns are cracking you up. I like what you did there, Princess Peter. Uh, oh, I do have the space for it. It's fine. It's fine. I just need to do some presto changeo inventory management -io. And now I don't have enough space for my fucking doubloons, so I gotta go back. Oh my god. I'm gonna need a bigger boat. But, oh, ha, do, uh, hang on. How much? I've got enough for my bigger boat. Let's go. Let's get out of it. Back to the floating dock 
Back to the flow. That's a massive rock. I think these rocks just appear out of nowhere, you know. Lights off. Lights on. Lights off. Lights on. Danger. Safe. Danger. Safe. Danger. Safe. Well, I think safe. Oh, like that. That's a... That's a horror wibble. That is. Right. Dock me, baby. And then go to the floating dock. And then... Oh, God. And then give me this, and then do this, and then put this lumber here, and then put this lumber here. Uh, to storage? No, I don't want to put it to storage. I was hoping it would be like quick, quick assign or something like that. Purchase for 500. <gasps> new hull! We got a new boat, baby. It doesn't look any different. Wow, oh, we, are, we are big now. In before the sea monsters interpret your flashing lights as an SOS and come to rescue you, get disappointed and then eat you in revenge. That's yeah, that's it's probably true. Um, that's probably what's going to happen. If it's not in this, it happened in Signalis, definitely. Uh, right, it's four o'clock in the morning. I will sleep till six, I guess. Ah, uh, my sanity's fine. I'm at the edge of insanity. It's okay, aren't we all? Disco party, disco party. Oh my god, I wasn't looking. <laughs> I'll learn me. Right, let's do this and go. Meow. And not explode. Pew. Not explode. Uh, there's lights over there. I don't know if that's pointing towards it. Meow. <laughs> hey, it's Focalorized 899. How are you doing, Focalorized 899? How are you doing, friend? Uh, is that salvage? Oh, shit. Metal scraps lost overboard. You. Turd. That's salvage. I need some of that. I'm doing mighty well. Thank you. Uh, is that fish coming for me? No, it's fine. Oh, I found a boom. Uh, dredge. Dredge it, dredge it. Dredge it. Twist it. Pop it. Dredge it. Oh, I've got a big hole in my boat. No. I tried to come up with some good fish puns, but I'm left floundering. <laughs> oh, man. This ain't no place for puns like that. Good card in heaven. You gotta stop with these puns. Why is my screen going all red and horrible? What's going on? Oh, that's what's going on. I see. I gotta leave. Bye. <laughs> Metal scraps lost overboard, as well as my crew. Dad jokes are always welcome. Yeah, dad jokes are always welcome. Bad jokes, dad jokes, terrible fish puns. You, you name it, mate. Line them up. Line them up. Tested the new boat hull, huh? Yes. <laughs> Apparently so. Unbeknownst to me. This is what's known as chaos engineering. This is, <laughs> in the technology world, this is unplugging stuff in live. This is just basically slamming the boat into a giant fish. <laughs> Hoping it works. <laughs> uh, uh, right. That's all the, all the lumber I can muster. All the muster I can lumber. Uh, your fish, your garbage. Your not fish. Wait, where's the shiny stuff? Let's do a quest. Yeah, wait, was that shiny stuff? I can't remember. Eh. Uh, oh, well, it's shiny. It's a trinket. It could be a one one space item trinket. It's really down there, isn't it? <gasps> it is. It's a citrine ring. Mmm, orangey. Right, it's getting late, but I don't, I don't really care about that. I care not for lateness. I care only for loot and plunder. Citrine is your favorite. Oh, lovely. Ah, oh, it's cloth. I don't really care for cloth. I mean, I'll come back for it. <laughs> don't get me wrong. I will come back. Oh, eels! Are you the eels I'm looking for? You might be the eels I'm looking for. Let's... I need one of you, and I need you to go rotten on my boat. A conga eel! Everyone join the... Oh my god, you're massive. Right, you go there. Right. I need one of these, and I need to go rotten. Can I just put in storage for it to go rotten? I'm not going to have the space for this, am I? I'm not going to 
have the space for this at all. Oh, oh, I think I think the fish has found me. Oh, yep, the fish has found me. Everything's gone red. Uh, full reverse, reverse, lumber lost. I barely tapped it. Four of us. Uh, wait, hang on. Stealth mode. There we go. Stealth mode. It has no idea where we are. I mean, neither do we. That's a cliff. Oh my god, there's eyes in the water. Oh, that's not good. Oh, that's a wibble. Oh, I don't like this. Oh, I don't like this. Where am I going? There's. I'm not going towards the lighthouse. I need to get around this rock. Well, I will stay in this water until some sunrise, if needs be. Where on earth am I going? I am dusty pontoon. Right. I've. No, I am going the right way. Good. I'm gonna do a dangerous maneuver. I'm gonna go through this gap. If it's a gap, something slithers into your cargo hold. Ugh. Oh, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to get rid of that now, aren't I? That's unfortunate. It was all. It was all, pushedually. Ugh. I gotta go. I gotta go to the pontoon. It's not that dangerous to be out at night. It's just a little more. Oh God, there's. Oh God, the, the these spawn out of nowhere. I'm telling you. These are procedurally generated rocks. Don't you fucking die on me. There we go. Um, Floating Merchant, could you fix my ship, please? I've done a stupid. Oh, I've done a big stupid. There we go. Do you have any nets? <gasps> you do. What does the net do? Simple design will passively catch basic fish when deployed. A wise investment for those wanting to explore the oceans. I mean, it's a lot of money. It's a lot of money. I think it's time you start floundering around. Yeah. <laughs> Scale up your efforts. Uh, I remember she said they would bury them in the dirt, so I don't know how that translates. To the oh, okay. Okay, so we she just needs one. She I don't know if she needs a rotten one or not. Uh, fish is going like, what the fuck is that human doing? Does he think we're blind in the dark? We can just see him fine. <laughs> Look, it makes me feel better, okay? <laughs> Uh, oh, they're just a bit crabby. Hey, I like it. Oh, I've got, I've got good lights. What is this? Oh, you sell research parts? Oh, that's so much money. Oh, I don't. Oh, that makes me feel uneasy. Um, right, I'm fixed now at least. Uh, so you know, no more humping the couch for me. Uh, I now need. I don't have any fish, do I? I don't have anything. I need to get back. I need to go sell some of these trinkets. Uh, storage. That's what I need. Store it, store it, bop it, store it. I am going to... No, that's fine. I need to catch a fish. I need a fish. I'm going to get an hour's sleep because this is like real life. And then I'm going to head back out. Choo-choo. Oh, God, I've attracted a bloody cyclone. Right, let's go through there. I'm not going to use the thing because it'll increase my panic. And I think my panic makes things slither onto the deck, apparently. I don't know what that actually does. I wonder if that, like, negatively impacts anything else. Like, if it's just, like, that's an unsellable fish now. I don't know. Oh, God, this is a dead end, isn't it? Oh. God damn bilge water sacks. Hull damaged. Yeah, I know it's damaged. I can't turn. There's also a giant fish near me. This way, fishy. Yeah, fuck off, mate. Oh, you know, you're actually following me. Oh, okay, sweet. Sweet. I'm fucked. Go away. Can I, like, smash you into the rocks? Because obviously I know these waters better than you. Fucking mansplaining the ocean to a fish that's lived here for hundreds of years. Oh, I missed the perfect original shout Pollux then. Oh, God. See, this is why you should be a streamer. Are you still behind me? You are still behind me. Well, that's, this is awkward, isn't it? I'd like you to piss off. 
You've been a right pain in the bars. <laughs> I would just like to turn around a smidge. I think it stopped chasing me. Now, whether or not it now passively comes this way or not. Oh, would you stop the cyclones? Right, dredge. Dredge it. Dredge it, bop it, twist it, snap it, bend it, stroke it, dab it. There we go. I got that. A shield. Lovely. Uh, where's that waterfall? The waterfall of doubloons. The waterfall of doubloons. I need the waterfall of doubloons. Wait, I need to look at my phone a second. Sorry. I do apologize. I'm also going to catch up on chat in a sec. Uh. God damn. There we go. Right. Through the waterfall. You should definitely not stop with those fish. Oh my! It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Uh, I say he, but I'm not certain if they identify as a male terror beast. Uh, I think... Uh, oh, I definitely can't get that. A rotten chest is... Yeah, it looks like... Get the balloons. Yeah, that's very true. I, I identify most terror beasts as male because I feel that female terror beasts would be f far more efficient and far more vicious um, and not just sort of flounder around. It. If it was a female terror beast, I'd already be dead, I think. That's how I like to see it. Right, are you eels? Eels, you're eel. No, you're dredge. I'll take you. You're fine. I'll take it. I'll take it. Ooh, it's shiny dredge. It's not just your normal dredge. I'll oh, piss. I'm getting all emotional. It's got me right in the eels. Uh, a, a single doubloon. Awesome. Not like, I've, not like I've just got an entire bag of those. Uh, I probably need a light. There we go. Let's go this way. Are you eels? You look like eels. Let's catch a couple of you, actually. Pow, pow. Damn it. Pow. Pow. I'm going to catch some of you because if something wriggles onto my boat again, I don't want to lose the 100% of the eels that I've caught. Oh, um, you're such an awkward shape. Oh, no. There. There and there. And I then I have room for one more. Oh, the spa's been depleted. I probably should have read that first. Let's go. Ooh, dredge. What's this? Uh, I have room for one piece of scrap. Yep. 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 Chup, chup, chups. Hmm. Right, if I move that there, then I move that there, I still have exactly the same amount of space. Because <laughs> I broke my hole. Right, let's go. Uh, wait. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Yeah, I still have exactly the same amount of space. Let's just get out of here. Uh... uh. uh. I'm not lost, you're lost. Oh, I'm bloody miles away. Well, it was nice while, nice while it lasted, being alive. What's this? Are you fish? You are fish. I don't have room for one more anymore because I picked up some salvage. So you can just stay right there, matey. Are you little dredge or big dredge? You're massive dredge. I definitely not space you. Oh, no, I'm going back in the rocks. I don't want to go back in the rocks. I broke my boat. I broke my hull. Oh, I've gone the wrong way. Well, no, technically I haven't gone the wrong way. I've just gone a different way, and I think I'm going to run into a fish. However, my dude stayed up all night, and he's not gone crazy. Are you... How big is... How? Wait. Stop. Shut up. How big are these fish? What the hell is this game? They're, oh, right, okay. No, you're huge. I'll throw you back. Uh, this way is the way I wanted to go. Hey, see, it was exactly where I thought I wanted to go. I should probably get my guy some some rest, some shut-eye. 
because otherwise he's gonna go crazy. I don't want him to go crazy. Uh, I need to not sell all of my fish. I need to select some of my fish. At least one of them. That's a fresh fish. And that is also... Wait, are they the same price? Oh, yeah, they are the same price. Uh, so sell that one. I will sell that one. And hey, it's Undeveloped Bruce. How you doing, Undeveloped Bruce? Not seen you in a while. Hope you've been well, friend. Uh, I am going to... No, we're not their shipyard. I need my storage. It's same S, different one. Back. Sleep's overrated. It's, I, uh, sleep, I don't know, man. I like sleep. Where's my storage? There it is. Uh, pocket. Pocket. Poly pocket. And then take these back, because these are two quest items. Oh, I should probably get him some shut eye. He's going, he's going insane. Uh, that'll do you. <laughs> don't worry. Don't want a uh, long rest. Just a short rest. It looks lovely right now. It is, it, to be honest, it is lovely. This is probably what I would consider to be very wholesome horror. We've got some eldritch beasts that keep trying to eat us, but it's very wholesome. Uh, yes, this is the place that needed the rotten fish. Delightfully spooky is, I think, you know, that's a sister channel that I'm going to make soon. Because um, I don't do enough with my time. Uh, you, Info resident. What is it? I've got that conger eel right here. Oh, let me see. Mm, it's a conger eel. It's not sufficiently aged. If I take it now, the dog is sure to snatch it before it fully is. Got it. Please come back after it's had some time to mature. Anything else? Right. So I'm going to put it in my storage. So I assume it's going to rot in my storage. You like sleep, but your body doesn't allow you to sleep. Same. Well, that's not... It used to be the same. When I was in college... Oh, I'm missing my pedal. You, you spend all your time doing a bloody TikTok about your pre-stream antics and you mention specifically the pedal for content creation and then you go and kick it under your bloody desk. In fairness, it's because I did have horrific network issues earlier, so I just swapped the network cable out. Anyway, train your bloody dog. Yeah, train your dog. <laughs> It's not my... That's not, that sounds like a you issue, madam. Uh, right, so I'll, I'll stick that in my storage. Uh, undock. Go over to ye olden man. Who was... I can't remember if he had a name, actually. Old man number 64. Another bloody cyclone. What is it with these cyclones? I kind of want to know what happens, but I have a feeling I definitely know what happens if I touch one. Doc. Ah, the hermit. Got it. Uh, hello again. Oh, what can I do for you? Is this your family crest? Have I ever shown you this family crest? Oh, you found it. Uh, I never thought I'd see this beauty again. Uh, but now... I have a further favour to ask. Would you take this to my brother in Ingfell? Just, I've just fucking been there. Literally. You could have told me that originally. <laughs> like the twister. Mm, twisters. Tell him. Tell him his brother is sorry. And he'd like to come home. Well, yeah. I'm not surprised, mate. You live in a shithole. Uh, right, go. Pursuit updated. We. Oh, shall we use super boost? Shall we use crazy boost? The Eldritch Power of Crazy Boost. And stop. Let the engines cool down a bit. Lick the twister. Lick the twister. Thanks, Bruce. Retired Whaler. I believe this crest is yours. Gods, I haven't seen this since. Huh. So he did take it. I knew it. Your brother's sorry. Will you let him come home? He's in real trouble over there. Your brother needs to move back here. He's in real trouble over there. I bet he is. Maybe I can clear the... Hmm. Okay, fine. He can stay in my old workshop. At least for the time being. 
I'll need some time to clear it out. While I'm doing that, perhaps you can do something for me. This is not how an economy works. See, I've been trying to clear some debris in the passage through the cliffs to make a shortcut. With explosives. I was able to set the charge, but the cliff seemed practically un particularly unsteady that day, so I didn't risk detonating it. You just need to go there and set it off. It's not far in. I left some yellow flags nearby. You can't miss it. Anything else? Where did you say the explosives were? Head through the head through the rock arch in the southeast. Follow the channel, and you'll see the yellow flags on the right. Anything else? You will also notice that these characters interchange voices quite a lot, because uh, I forget what voice I've used. I'm also not a voice actor. I know, it's crazy to think, isn't it? It's, it's crazy. Uh, is it this way? I'm going to assume it might be this way. Not for lack of trying, mind. I did, I did haul myself out as a voice actor for about a year. Yellow flags. Oh, fuck it out. I gotta go. Do I... Can I activate this now? Ow. Yes. You light the fuse. Bang. Debris crumbles away. Go. Flee. Pew. This just leads me here. I've already, I think I've already been here. Oh, I might not have, actually. I can't see shit. I still can't see shit, but now I'm bigger target. Now I've got to go past the fish. That's fun. That's a fun time we're going to have. Because I can't see a bloody thing. Uh, oh, eyes in the deep. Got it. Is there anything I... Oh, no, I don't need to worry about that. I could just do with getting him some rest. If my light's off, I can't see the spooky eyes in the distance. I also can't see the rocks that jump out at me, but... Should I do some fishing while I'm here? This seems like an opportune moment to do a bit of fishing. Oh good, a decaying blackmouth, not just a blackmouth salmon. Uh, where's the thingy? There it is. <laughs> where's the pontoon gone? Dark! Dock it, twist it, bop it, uh, fish it. I'll buy all sorts of fish here. I can pay you the most for the fresh ones. Here you go. Have two fresh fish. Wow, we spent so much more money. Uh, can you fix my ship, please? Hell's got a few holes in your patching. We can get those repaired. We can get those. Blah, 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 blah. We can repair those here, remember? I can speak, I promise. Um, let's. No, I don't need that one. Let's buy a net. Passive income. That's what that is. Install for four hours? Yeah, sure. Oh, it classes as a rest. Brilliant. Two birds, one stone. Two fish, one net. You're going to bankrupt yourself with all the boat repairs. I'll just get to the point where I can't repair it anymore. Now I've got passive income, baby. <laughs> this one trawler doesn't want you to know that the big fish industry doesn't want you to know this one trick for passive income. It's nets. Uh, there. Uh, I've got so many trinkets. So many trinkets. Storage. How's my fish doing? It's rotting. Yeah. I don't think I've ever been excited about that before. Lights off. Let's go. Uh, so like, oh, it's a fucking ability? It's an ability. Ay, ay, ay. Ooh, a fish. Stock. Uh, you. I've got that fish you wanted. Oh, this is perfect. This will do wonderfully. I can offer you a small sum in thanks. A small sum? Oh, okay, that's fair. Doesn't even make sense. My dogs would rather a rotting fish to be fresh. <laughs> I'd rather... My dogs would rather a rotting fish to a fresh one any day. <laughs> well, so she's she wants that for her husband. Oh, sorry, for partner. 
She wants to have for her partner, but the way they normally prepare these fish is they get them out of the sea, they stick them in the ground, but the dog keeps digging them up. Obviously, the answer is not don't let your dog out for a bit or, you know, be with your dog. It's just a case of hire a fisherman to go and catch you a fish, keep it for a few days and let it rot. All right, mate, you've done it. I heard the blast from here. God, the echo. I'm surprised the cliffs didn't come down on your head. No, just the giant fish. I've got things ready. Go tell my brother that he can come home. Oh. You're a good... You're a good lad, uh, Gritty Popeye. Go tell him he can come home. Fish, 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 fish. This net is rubbish. <laughs> There's plenty of fish here. This net has not has caught one. That's it. So much of a passive income. Fucking hell. Especially when I can't use anything else. Uh, hermit. Uh, hello again. What can I do for you? Your brother forgives you. He never said that. He's found you a place to stay. He definitely said that. He does. That's a huge weight off my chest. One so old I hardly remembered it was there. Right, well, I'm packed and ready to go. That was a bit presumptuous of you. Oh, good. I have to carry you as cargo. Brilliant. <laughs> the hermit climbs aboard with all his belongings. Dog subreddits are full of that. How do I stop my dog from doing this without any training, management, or effort? <laughs> what magic trick do I use on a dog in order to stop it doing a thing? Uh, and just just for that, I'm going to store you upside down. Put him in the net. <laughs> you get to ride in the passenger seat, buddy. Whee! <laughs> if you've got a hole in the net, you end up with less holes than you had before. Uh, oh, God, that's true. That's as bad as the centaur thing I heard the other day. Is this... Should I... Is this also... Like, what What do I need to do? Uh, I just need to... I just need to do that. Now, if I change abilities... Oh, no, I can use... Okay, okay. Fair enough, fair enough. Yeah, the centaur thing. Think about it. Centaurs have two rib cages. Now, I've ruined centaurs for you. Uh, here you go, one upside down hermit. Hermit removed from inventory. Well, here we are. The hermit notices the old whaler standing on the dock, waiting for him. Little brother, welcome home. <laughs> I'm, I'm so sorry, I was foolish. Oh, we both were. Come on inside, let me get your bags. The two brothers walk away down the dock. One of them pauses for a moment and turns back to you. Oh, stranger, if you find any more debris that needs clearing, I'm working on making some packed explosives. Come by the old whaling yards any time. Old whaling? Oh, whaling yards, lovely. Yeah, this one's on the house. For all something, for all your help. Brilliant, I'll have that, thank you. I hope you can put them to good use, wherever you find cause for it. Wow, how many you've got? There are only 40 as well. I'm going to buy a couple of these. Packed explosives... Packed explosives. How about like four of them? Now I'm going to make myself bankrupt. Lovely stuff. Uh, right, I should probably... No, I'm fine. Uh, i tell you what we do need to do. We need to go back to Thingy. Because I need to check all my crab pots. I need to go back to the Marrows? The Meadows? The Marrows? The Marrows, yeah. I need to go back to the Marrows. Yep, that centaur's ruined for you. Centaurs have two rib cages, and you've never thought about it until just now. And I'm I'm in the process of watching Harry Potter, like all the Harry Potter movies at the moment. So whenever the centaurs turn up, that thought just invades my head, and now it needs to invade yours too. You're all welcome, and I welcome the loss of followers and subscribers because of it. Uh, do 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 do. What did I pick up? What did I pick up? An Ouroboros flag. Oh, lovely. It always, always reminds me of Red Dwarf. Uh, hello. What's this? You pull up to a wreck with familiar-looking hull. It's almost identical to the ship given to you by the mayor, except this one has a, lot, has a huge breach in one side. 
And you're tied up alongside the old wreck. Look in the cabin. Check out the cargo. Look in the cabin. You're in the cabin. Oh, okay. I was, I was like, you're in the cabin. I'm like, <gasps> what? Uh, look in the cupboards and drawers. The cupboards have been completely and methodically emptied. All the drawers are missing. You're in the cabin. Uh, Try to find a loose floorboard. There aren't even any floorboards left. Okay. Now uh, you're in the cabin. Uh, check the overhead electrical equipment. The electrical equipment is still there, though surely exposed to the exposure to the elements has fried the internals. You angle the overhead radio down to get a closer look. A note slips off the top. You put it in your pocket to read later. Fisherman's note. And go back. And now check out the cargo. You poke through the cargo hold. A few items remain, not yet lost to the sea. Oh, lovely. Uh, can I just immediately pick it up? Can I just take all? No. You can return to these items later. That's a that's a big... Wait, can I not just store that? I can't just store it. I have to install it. I can storage it. Storage, storage, storage. There we go. You're tied up along the other side. Well, screw that boat. I've taken that for all I need. You're not watching Harry Potter, though. You don't like Harry Potter. That's fair enough. A lot of people don't like Harry Potter. Well, a lot of people don't like J.K. Rowling, which is completely understandable. Um, but I enjoy the Harry Potter movies. I enjoy the later Harry Potter movies, the ones when it doesn't feel like I'm watching a kid's TV show. The ones where it feels like there's actual danger and, like, actual, like... It feels like an adventure rather than anything else. But then I've never read the book, so maybe they all feel like that. Who knows? Where? Yeah, J.K. Rowling can get in the fucking sea. But I, as as media... Oh, what's this? As media, I like that. I like the Harry Potter movies. Inspect. The stone hums quietly, sending ripples around it. The faint, uh, so do I touch this one? Nothing happens. The cold stone does not respond to your touch. Left me on red. Fucking savage. Another fish. Lovely. How do I get these fish? Like, how do I empty, th empty this? Nah, it doesn't matter. We're going to go sell all our, all our trinkets and live like kings and queens. We're going to live like royalty. More lumber. Don't mind if I do. Always do with some lumber. Lumber, I have found, is the backbone of every upgrade to a boat, which makes a lot of sense when I think about it. Right, let's go here. Little Marrow. I think this is Little Marrow. Little Marrow. Good, because there is a trader here. And also... No, that's it. There's just a trader here. Uh, hello. I... Oh, I've got a new flag, haven't I? I've got... Let's go to the painter. Uh, hello. I'd like to give you a flag. I have a flag. Classic Eddie is our sketch. Do you have a flag? That's how we used to take over the world. We used to just walk around with flags. So, you found the scraps of fabric, eh? Hey? Let me see. A unique design. We want to attach it now? Hmm. Sure. As you wish. What can I help you with today? Uh, that'll do until I get more crabs for you to paint my boat. Uh, storage. Oh my god, I've got so much stuff. Um, no flag, no country. No flag, no country. Uh, do you have a flag? No, but we live here. No flag, no country. Them's the rules. We have a flag. I claim this land, but we live here. Absolutely brilliant. Uh, can I put that in my store? Uh, there we go. I can just do that. That, that, that. And the big bag of... The small bag of doubloons. Small bag of doublins. Um, yeah, the Ouroboros flag. Just remind... Always... The Ouroboros symbol of the snake eating his own tail, the sign for infinity, always reminds me of Red Dwarf because that was... There was a storyline where um, Lister in Red Dwarf was uh, found as a baby under a pool table in a box. And on the side of it, because he always goes on in the series about how his name was going to be Rob, Ross, or Lister. Um, and it was, turned out that the word on the side of the box was Ouroboros, but he was told it was our Rob or Ross. <laughs> and that always, that always sticks with me. Uh, sell, wait, if I sell all of them, it's 277. Cool. Take all of that. That seems cheap. I don't feel like I made a lot of money off, off of that. Right, we're going to ignore our insanity and just keep going. We're going to push through. 
<laughs> it's 2021. We're going to push through our insanity like the rest of the world. Oh, look, are my crab, my crab pots. Crab pots. Oh, my God, that's so full. <laughs> take all. Oh, I can't take that. Okay. Can I take all the little crabs at least? Oh, my God, what is that? A malignant pincer. Oh, I get that looked at me. I can't take any more crabs. I'm full of crabs. Don't come near me. I'm full of crabs. And fish. That's a, that's a clip. <laughs> ah, it feels nice to be back in Greater, Greater Barrow, I'll be honest. I feel like I've been here in ages. Uh, right, fishmonger. Can I just give you all of these? Oh, no, this is... Oh, no, I've got to get this repaired. Am I going to get this repaired as well? What else do I need to get repaired? Nothing. No, I don't need to get anything else repaired. It's fine. Yeah, it's fine. Um, if I sell all of the fish, it's 134, which is fine. Yeah. Sell all. No, sell all. Thank you. Uh, go to my storage. That's French for box. Uh, I can't fit that in my storage. Please let there be a quick... There's no quick button for tidying up my inventory, which makes me super sad. So we're going to do some inventory management, and then we're going to spend some resources. I can't fit that in there. Okay, that's fine. I mean, I probably can if I do this. Oh, you can really see that save game uh, game coming into uh, fruition now, can't you? Where I played the game save, played the game save game. I sound like I don't know what I'm talking about. I sound like I'm trying to describe a game to someone. Save game, the one where I had to manage an inventory for ages. We all remember it. We were all there. We were all there. Most of us. Most of us were there. Uh, that's terrifying. I'm going to turn this off while I do this. Take all. And then... Why are words so hard for me today? Uh, it's every day, friend. Every day. Take all. I can't take all. Okay. Are there any more tiny crabs? Do I have any more tiny crabs? Is that the last crab pot? What about the middle crab pot? I've placed these in a terrible spot. I've placed these far too close together. Uh, did I lose all of my fish? What on earth? Oh, no. Oh, my God. Oh, did I sell them? I definitely don't feel like I got enough money to sell all those fish and all those crabs. Uh, I have to leave. Oh, my God. The town's under attack. God, jeez, and rice. Oh, no, thank you. Yeah, does that sell all of the fish in that as well? Weird. Uh, yeah, I definitely don't feel like I've got enough... Oh, net. Oh, okay, there we go. But that sells... Yeah, it sells that as well. Yeah, wild. That didn't feel like it was enough money for, like, five fish in there as well, but what do I know, I guess? Um, right, I also... I should probably get him some sleep. Just a couple of hours. That'll do him. Bit of a kip. Oh my god, this looks delightful now. Oh. Bing. <laughs> I love that wire word so hard for you today. Because it's a day with a wire in it. Uh, boop. Pick that up. Because it'll probably need fixing as well. Pick that one up. Oh god, these things are massive. Uh, pick, oh my god, not as massive as those. Uh, I can't take all of those, but I can take the little crabs. I can't pick that one up, but I probably can pick that one up. No, I can't. Okay. Uh, let me go to the painter because they use crabs in their paint pigments. So uh, I would like... <laughs> You're worse than you are. That's... In many respects, I am. Uh, painter. I would like to paint my boat. I would like to paint my boat. I would like to... Now, I need for sharp mint, 
I need whatever this crab is, which is a malignant pincer. I've got one of those. Here, have a malignant pincer. There you go. Yeah, it should be all I need. Let me just grind them together. That crab looked bit pretty big to be ground down. All right, now let me prepare my brushes. And an inspiration to us all, Focal Horizon 899. I think you're forgetting that as well. You're an inspiration to us all. You're like Maui. <laughs> uh, all right, now let me prepare my brushes. Oh, lovely. That didn't seem worth it, but I'm happy with the color, so. What area do you want to paint? The roof. The roof. The roof is now shot mint. We don't need no other paint, except I want to give you these crabs. <laughs> Uh, what other crabs do you need? You don't need any of these. Oh no, that's the wrong button. No, I pressed the wrong button. What color do you want to paint? Uh, what's royal purple? Those look awful. An imperious lobster. I played as one of those in Warhammer once. Um, an entangled crab. I play as one of those in Ghost of Saltmarsh right now. A different color, perhaps gold treasure. But there's no gold in this. It's a Maya Screecher and an Effigy Crab. Hmm. So I don't need any of these. Black Abyss. I wonder what I need for Black Abyss. I need a Scale Reacher. A Sable Reacher, sorry. That's the sister of Jack Reacher. And an Umbral Puppet. That is definitely what I play as in Ghosts of so much. Hmm. Uh, my D&D &D character is definitely an Umbral Puppet. Uh, can I adjust the Bunting? I now bunting on, yeah, definitely bunting on. Uh, I think that's all I've got. Leave, right? It's, sorry, boss. I got some crabs to go sell and some pots to. Oh god, you did nothing for me. Um, and some pots to repair, and then place in better spaces. Uh, I'll take that first because I can always come back for the thing. How big is this? I can pick that up. I just can't pick this large one up, which is unfortunate. Which means it's another trip. Wait. Why is that? Oh, it needs repairing. I understand. I understand. Wait, does that mean I've lost all the fish? Please don't tell me that means I've lost all the fish. Are there a fish in there? I can see them. There's something in there. I can see it. I can see it with my eyes. Right, fishmonger first. Net. Yeah, there's two cod in there. Good cod. Good cod. Couple of cards. Which a couple of cards. Uh, sell all of my fish. Thank you. Um, and now I would like to go to the... Yes. I've forgotten what I've just... The shipwright. That's what I wanted. The shipwright. That's what I meant to press on. Uh, and now I will leave and go and get that one pot that I couldn't bring back. This game seems to have a lot of repairing in it, but that may, may be down to me. You are not wrong. You are not wrong. I think the, the pots and stuff need repairing anyway. The hull needing repairing so much is, is definitely a skill issue. Let's not, let's not beat around the bush on that one. Right, get this. Grab me pot. Should I put them in the middle of the sea? I think I should. I think I definitely should. Oh, I need to correct my posture. I'm leaning really forward. I'm leaning like this. So my, my head is sinking into my shoulders. And my boat is veering into the cliffs. Hence why the boat always needs a fucking repair. Uh, right, shipwright. Repair that for me. Good-o. Uh, that means you repaired my net, right? One day remaining. Excellent stuff. Yeah, you've repaired my net. I mean, it's kind of late, but he's kind of insane as well. I'll give him a bit of sleep. Oh, no, we were going to do um, upgrades, weren't we? What have we got to upgrade? We've got three extra rod spaces, four cargo spaces. Four cargo spaces. Where's my storage? That was it. We, want, we were going to clear out some of our storage by uh, assigning it to upgrades for the future. And uh, apparently getting extra cargo spaces now. That's so exciting. I've oh, gaffed that up, haven't I? Uh, there we go. 300. Yeah, I'm poor. Uh, an engine space. We'll definitely want some more engine space. At some point, anyway. I mean, I'm 100% just going to be buying these. Uh, I say buying. I'm going to be uh, 
putting the resources into these, otherwise I'll, I'll completely run out of space. That's only 75, that's fine. And what's this one? Wait, what? Oh, I thought that big arrow was another icon I could click on. <laughs> I don't know how UI works. Um, three rod spaces. That's lumber, scrap, and bolts. Uh, cloth, sorry. I haven't got the lumber for it, but I've got everything else. Oh, this keyboard's so... That keyboard, this controller's very clicky. There we go. So, that's cleared out a lot of our space. We're going to do some research as well to open up some more stuff because we've got four research parts. Four research parts. We've barely touched this stuff. Ooh. Ooh. New nets. Right, so we've got new rods. We've got new engines. We've got new parts. Parts we've, we've pretty well stocked on parts, I think. They're doing well. Uh, engines are always a good shout. So, I don't know. Wait, is that the one we've just picked up? Where's my storage? That might be the one we've just picked up, you know. A weak valve engine. Speed plus 18.9 knots. Okay. I mean, I'll upgrade, because I need to upgrade to upgrade to further ones anyway. What's that? Coastal, shallow, mangrove, and volcanic fish. Oh my god, that catches everything. Whoa, actually, do I, do I want that instead? Oh, then I'd only need a two by two by three space. Wait, when it said cargo hold space, it meant cargo hold space, right? Not storage space. Yeah, I've got more cargo space. Yeah? Yeah. Let's go with yeah. Yeah, I'm sure it is. It's not, it wasn't a locker upgrade. It was a cargo locker upgrade. Oh, oh, I need to do that one first. There you go. Now do this one. There we go. Now I can, a twin prop engine is outfitted with dual propeller system, increasing speed. And yeah, we'll just apply it to, well, no, let's apply it to one of these because I need to get these first, don't I? An anti-tangle line does mangrove and coastal. Fishing speed plus 55% does volcanic and shallow. I have a feeling it keeps nudging me towards getting volcanic stuff. So I'm going to do that. Um, and I think that's everything. I've got my four, one, two, three, four parts one rod one thingy uh what is my engine like at the minute my overall speed my my boat speed is 35.7 knots okay but if i install this oh i can't god damn it I have, do i have to uninstall this uninstall this uninstall this it was 35.7. Now it's 29.4, which is significantly worse. However, now if I also do this one. There we go. Now it's 41.1. 44.1, sorry. Cool. Now if I sell this. Can I sell this? Can I not sell this? Oh wait, I'm not I'm not where I can sell stuff. <laughs> Ship right. Uh, can I switch to my storage? Do you not buy stuff? Uh, dry dock. No, it is a ship right. Huh. Oh no, you do buy stuff. I just. Wait, why didn't you buy stuff a second ago? It was all grayed out. How bizarre. Uh, sell. Sell that. I don't think I need that one. That's a basic fishing pole, so sell that. Right. That's good. That's good. We're doing well. Let's go. Meow. And now, wait, I just want to put my pots out because I want to put them between here and the... Oh, wait, hang on. Oh, that's not where I wanted to put it. Pick that up. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. There we go. I wanted to put my lights on a second because there's some rocks uh, going out of this cove. Wow, we go so much faster now. 
Ooh, that's an interesting thing. If I turn my lights off, that wibbly thing goes away. Which way am I going? I am... Yes, I'm going that way. I've still got an entire uh, island to explore. Yum. It's the lights in the distance. That's what we need. Right. Uh, crab pots. 74 for 84 for... There's few crabs here. I would like a space where there's plenty of crabs. Nope. Good. Nothing following us. Excellent. Uh, that looks terrifying. What's that? Abyssal fish. Yep. Not catching any of those right now. Not catching any of those at all. 155 feet, 160 feet. There's still only a few crabs there. I mean, that doesn't mean there's none. What was that noise? Oh my lord, what is that? Uh, it's like half past seven in the morning, mate. Go away. <laughs> Excuse me. Fuck off. Thanks. There we go. I uh, set out my crab pots and escaped the horrific hell beast. Now, um, where was some of the blocks of... <gasps> there was a block bit here, wasn't there? Let's go here. What this? Salvage? Salvage? No. Fish. No. Fish. Oh, salvage. Or rather, a uh, uh, thing. A uh, pile of loose debris. It could be cleared with... Yeah, loose explosives. You don't have any packed explosives. Perhaps the whaler in it. What? Sorry, I said who? I absolutely have some. Oh, I left them in my storage. Oh, my days. I left them in my other box. Is that snow? How does that snow? That's what it looked like outside the window today. It genuinely started snowing. Which is quite rare for here, I'll be honest. Uh, right. I need my storage. And I need... I can't just... Oh, I can just pop it to cargo, can't I? Right, I take three to begin with. The number we shall take is three. Three is the number of explosives we shall take. Four is right out. Five is not the number of explosives we shall take. Wait, hang on. What was I even just looking at? I was looking at this. <laughs> Got completely turned around then. A pile of loose debris. Use explosives. You set the charge and light the fuse. Ba-bam! The debris crumbles away. Chug, chug, chug. Chug, chug, chug. Savage. Oh, piss. Hey, some refined metal. Lovely. I think that's quite rare. Uh, what is over here? Is this just a shortcut? I don't want to waste this on a shortcut if I'm... Oh, God. Camera. The camera. Is this is this the cameraman from Mario 64? Because I swear to God, it feels like it. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I love a streamer who references Monty Python. I fuck it. I grew up on Monty Python. I swear to God. My favorite was probably Life of Brian. Um, no. What was the... I can't remember what the, the movie was called, but it ended with the the song about uh, you being an insignificant speck in an infinite cosmic universe. I always I always liked that. Those fish just vanished. Did they vanish because there's a giant fish near me? Eep! Eep! I don't like the noises. I'm going to leave. Oh no, I'm going towards the fish. That's super dumb of me. And the rocks. I'm going towards the fish and the rocks. I need to stop looking not at my boat. I need to start keeping an eye on my boat. Oh, Holy Grail, yeah. Absolutely. Holy Grail was classic. It still stands up today. Like, watching it recently is enjoyable to watch. It's not like some of the stuff back then where you watch it and you're like, this is this is a bit cringy now. Like, it's still... It, it's daft humour. Um, mm, what am I doing? I am fixing my boat. Everyone shut up. I've not damaged a thing. 
I am now going to my storage. Deposit to that. And then I'm going to leave. You had an incredibly inappropriate Holy Grail PC game from an old Windows 3.1 as a kid. Windows 3.1? My lord. <laughs> it's almost as old as I am. Uh, rest. I mean, you're only going to rest... I'm going to rest you for a bit. Oh, wow. No, I, I made you go quite mental, didn't I? Sorry, pal. I didn't mean to do that. Oops. Uh, how's my net doing? How's a net? A net's fine. She's never been happier. Ah! Now I'm certain that there was more stuff to find. <gasps> Dredge! Look at the salvage. I found sea loot. Look, sea garbage. Uh, there. Legitimately, though, you don't use salvage wood to repair or build anything new. I'm just, just saying. It would be waterlogged, and you'd have to wait fucking ages for it to dry. Ages, mate. Unless you are trading it like for like, which I don't think you are. But <gasps> No, there was a thing back there, wasn't there? No, stop. All, all hands to hips. I don't know. And do the pelvic thrust. Let's go back here. To the old man's house. Oh, a bearded mackerel. How disgusting. Uh, don't crash into the dock. Don't do that. Hey, pile of this debris. It can be cleared with a shortcut. It can be cleared with a shortcut? It can be cleared for a shortcut. The debris crumbles away, leaving only salvage. Delicious, shiny sea loot. And I got a pair of sapphire earrings. Fantastic. And I got... Is this a music box? It's a music box. Oh, returning to the collector. Oh, is it the music box I actually need? I've forgotten about that quest. I'm having too much fun. Uh, yes, this one. Search for relics. Uh, music box. There we go. Oh, so that's that's my that's my trip to this bit done. Really? I'm not going to take it to him. Oh God, my wife is cooking downstairs and it smells absolutely divine in the house. It smells like fried onions, which, oh boy. Oh boy. So what time is it? I haven't eaten in a long time. Just realised. I am... I am one of those terrible people who... I say terrible. I am one of those people who forgets to eat unless I smell food. And then I'm like, oh shit, I haven't eaten in six hours. Oops. Shiny. Mmm. Shiny fish. Hello, shiny fish. Are you a shiny, shiny fish? Or are you a good shiny fish or a bad shiny fish? You're a good shiny fish? I'm going to say you're a good shiny fish. You look like a good shiny fish. Can I rotate that? Yes, but... I'm not screwing around with the music box. I've played Phasmo too much. When I start hearing singing, I'm out. I'm dropping it back overboard. Um, storage. Storage, 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 storage. Uh, storage. How's my net doing? A net's doing fantastic. Can I put this fish in the net, actually? Is that extra... No, I can't. I can't, like, chuck it in the cargo, in the net. Right, let's go... Yeah, this feels like a safe idea. This this definitely feels like a safe idea, going, going ship fishing at night. This 100% feels like a safe idea. I can't think of anything safer than this. Oh, good. Another decaying black mouth. Excellent. I'm getting a lot of mutant fish. I don't know what that says about anything, really. But I'm getting a lot of mutant fish. No rocks, please. No surprise rocks, please. 
No wibblies either. Yeah, look. That, what the hell? Last time that happened, I nearly got sunk. I heard a horn in the distance, and last time that happened, there was a, a, a boat that was actually a giant mutant angler fish in disguise. Right, fish market. I've got a surprise for you. A gift from my most loyal customer. Here, I want you to have it. Art of the Silver Tongue added to your cabin. She takes a book from nearby something. From a nearby shelf and hands it to you. Flicking through it, you see pages. Paged corners turned in... <laughs> you see page corners turned in and handwritten notes in the margins. Everyone shut up. I, I, I It's been a long day of meetings. <laughs> uh, sell all of my fish. Uh, and that's it, I think. Speaking of which, did I ever finish that other book? Apparently I must have. The Relaxed Mind. 10% resilience to panic. How's that working out for me? Uh, rest. That'll do. That'll do, yeah. Right, let's go around the edge of the island. Because I'm pretty sure... Ooh, spooky fish. Some shiny fish. Shiny, shiny, shiny fish. I don't know why these are shiny. Maybe there's like a trophy fish here or something. Oh, cack. The spot's been depleted. Fine. Uh, do very quick inventory management. Oh, a fish in the net. You're not dredge. You're fishies. Oh, I want no fishies. I want salvage and dredge. Like this. This is dredge. <gasps> it's trinkets too. Might be shinies. It could be sweeties. Who knows? Uh, it's a silver trinket. I mean, I know it's a trinket. Maybe it's candy. I didn't think I was going to make that one then. Uh, oh, there's more. <laughs> I just assumed there was only one. This, this way? This way. There's more cloth down there. Sodden cloth. There. Now it's been depleted. Good. Uh, you look like lumber. You look like scrap metal. You're, you're massive, mate. You're absolutely massive. Uh, you are also going to be pretty big. Can I make a mark on the map? I can do that, can't I? I can place a marker. Can I... What are the markers? I just place a green flag here. Can I place more than one green flag? I can. Uh, how do I remove a marker? That's how I remove one. Right, there's, there's, there's something there. There's dredge there. That's what I want to remember. Oh, what? Hello? What's... Oh, eels. Got it. Oh, because it's just ticked over from... Uh, it's just ticked over to 6 o'clock. I think that's when all the spooky stuff comes out. Just like in real life. Ooh, shinies. Shapes in the deep. I don't think that was the name of that chapter in Lord of the Rings. Uh, I got a... An opal ring. Thanks. I've been open for one of those. Uh, anyway. Oh, great. Cheers. Thanks. <laughs> Just what I needed. Is this fish or dredge? Or this is disturbed water. I don't have the right equipment for this. Okay. Wait, if I get different equipment, can I dredge different things? Shapes of the Deep, that's, that's, that's massive, mate. That's massive. There's a lot of vibration going on right now in my controller. Uh, you're a big fish. Ow, you bastard. You were nowhere fucking near me then, you bellend. You were absolutely nowhere near me, you prick. I don't know how safe it is to stop here. I mean, I'm going to do it. No, no, I'm not. It's, it's 
scrap metal. I'm not going for scrap metal. Uh, okay. Oh, spooky fish. What are you? Oh, a prize fish. Oh, a scouring bass. Excellent. Just to play for like 20 minutes, and by the look of the chat, I missed a Monty Python reference. I'm always up for quoting Monty Python. Yep, yeah, I said, uh, well, I can't remember what I said actually. Oh, the number of um, explosives I need to take shall be three. Three is the number of explosives I shall take. Four is right out. <laughs> Hence the Monty Python reference. Uh, now I'm lost. <gasps> There's a gold shiny over there. What's this? Is this another message in a bowl? Is this a trap? It smells like a trap. Oh no, it's not a trap. Cool. <gasps> What's, what? 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 This? I want this. I want whatever this is. I'll make space for it. Oh, it's a pirate flag. Excellent. I should probably go back to the pontoon. Probably. So, if we've got some Monty Python fans in chat, favorite Monty Python film and favorite Monty Python sketch. It's okay if you've only ever seen, like, one. And saying something like the Ministry of Silly Walks or the Dead Bird sketch is totally valid. This is... This looks horrible. What is this? The stone trembles before you. Unknown symbols... Oh, it depends on my sanity. Got it. A sudden chill rushes through the marrow of your bones, surging up your arm, your neck. A deep vision enters your mind. A heart of stone wrapped in a twisting tail. A serpentine body uncoils, teeth rasping as its earthen, as its earthen shell... Larger now, bursting through the cliffs, sending rocks tumbling into the water, an eye opens to this new world. Cool. Didn't need that. N not happy about it either. Uh, oh, something slithers into the cargo bay. Get off my ship. Thanks. Uh, hello. There was a big vibratory motion there, and I didn't, I didn't appreciate that. I will check my crab pots afterwards. I think probably the, the Monty Python sketch I quote the most is probably spam. The spam one. Oh. Holy Grail on a sketch, I think it's called the Salad Days, but it's just bloodbath. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> Is that the one with Mr. Creer? So oh, it's only Waffa Thin. <laughs> oh, but say it's only Waffa Thin. Uh, they're all fresh. Buy all of these. Thanks. Uh, I would like to go to my storage, please. Storage. That, 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 and that, and that. Cool. Ah, I see. Yeah, no, that's fair enough. That's fair enough, Princess Peter. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, like, the, is it the leper colony one? Anyone for tennis? And then all the limbs start falling off. <laughs> God, so many. There's so many good Monty Python sketches. Um, uh, what am I doing? I'm getting my ship fixed. Oh. Fixing the holes in my ship. All right, no one saw anything. It's it's perfectly fine. It was always perfectly fine. It didn't get eaten by a big fish. All right. No one's seen it. No one can prove it. No one says nothing. Uh, rest. That'll do, yeah. All right. Oh, these are broken, aren't they? Are they full, though? God damn, yeah. Uh, ooh, rock crab. I will take all of that stuff. Thank you. And I will take all of these, too. And I will take all of these. They're nothing but rock crabs. Nothing but rock crabs. I got nothing but rock crabs. Uh, not enough space for that. That's fine. Pavement climbing. Oh, I'd forgotten about that one. That's cool. Favorite Monty Python film is Life of Brian. So many funny quotes in that one, such as Biggest Dickus. Uh, favorite Monty Python sketch is either Spam or Pavement Climbing. I like that one. 
Oh, the argument is a classic for me. Uh, fish. I am going to just store one of these and then sell the rest. Uh, that doesn't sell the one in storage, does it? No, good. Because I think the dude, the pigment dude, wants one as well. And then we'll just go get these repaired. We should be able to take them all back, get them repaired, go to the thing. Go to the thing, do the thing, do that other thing. You know what I mean? Know what I mean? Know what I mean? You know what I mean, don't you, mate? No worries, Mrs. Peter. You enjoy your luck. Right. Park it like you own it and drive it like you stole it. Uh, fish market? Yes. Sell all of those. Get the crab pots repaired now. Nothing to do with the hole. Nothing to do with the hole. And get out of here. And then do a sneaky change of thingy. Uh, no, crab net. Crab net? Crab pot, even. Morecambe and Wise. Morecambe and Wise was an absolute institution. There we go. Uh, I think this is the collector. I think. Still caught a lot of their jokes. Yeah, they were always on. I remember things like open all hours more than more common wise. I remember things like, and it's good night from him, and it's good night from me. Is this the collector's house? That's not the collector's house. Oh, that's the that's the ship, isn't it? That's the ship I uh, investigated earlier. And this is salvage. I did not investigate earlier. <gasps> That's an iron chain. That seems pretty crap. Uh, now I... Oh, it's over here. <laughs> Every time you hear sirens, you always say you won't sell any ice creams going that fast. That is a classic. That is a classic dad line, that is. Yeah, I think this stops these wibbly things from attacking me. Just turning my lights off. I mean, it's super dangerous, but I think it works. For the time being, anyway, until I run aground. This is definitely the thing, isn't it? This has got to be the collector's house. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> definitely is. Alright, sweet. Uh, ruined mansion. What is it? The words... You oh, I have to... Can I just... Act can you just take it from my storage? Is that not a thing? There. Ruined mansion. So you've returned... I wasn't sure you were coming back. You drag the massive music box into the room, gouging the wooden floorboards beneath it. The collector doesn't see his mind. He's more focused on the box. You found this at the cliffs, didn't you? Yes. Excellent. This should make future return journeys a little more swift. Allow me. He selects one of the silver ribbons trailing from the crimson bound book, opening it to some unseen page. Turning to catch the dim light, he whispers the words on the page. After a few seconds, you feel your stomach drop suddenly as though thrown high by a wave. He closes the book and turns his attention back to you. Am I drinking an SS flask? Yes, that's exactly what I'm drinking. I'm, I've gone full bonfire. Now, there are yet more relics to find. Keep looking. The reef at Stella Basin may have caught and accumulated some wreckage. Search around that area. I'll mark the location on your map where you can begin your search. Anything else? Uh, the words you just read from the book, what did they do to me? The book holds power of the deep. I merely extended its powers towards you. Is there one particular you wish to know more about? Manifest. Use of these words will induce a trance-like state. While in this state, time will pass in the blink of an eye. When it is over, you will find yourself here. Nice. As always, I caution against overusing this, selectively and strategically utilizing it when you need it most. Hmm. Are there other powers you wish to discuss? Anything else? Why can't you search these relics yourself? The ocean no longer wishes to cooperate. As the waves are unsafe for me, 
You will be my surrogate. Oh, fancy. Anything else? What are you doing with these relics? I'm collecting them, of course. An investment for the times to come. The end of the world, perhaps. Uh, right, now that's everything. Cool. Uh, workshop? The workshop looks as though it hasn't been used in decades. Go inside. It's locked. Oh, okay. Fair enough. <laughs> Uh, then I will head on back, I guess. The Stella Basin. Stella Basin? Stella Basin. I mean, we're not... Um, yeah, yeah, fuck it. I'll, I'll go and check out Stella Basin. Uh, it is southwest. Southwest. In the middle of the night as well. Why not? Let's do it. Yeah, what's the worst that could happen, eh? We get eaten by horrific mists. Oh, that is actually, that might actually eat me as well. Is this a fish? Yeah. Is this a fish or something deadly? Oh, cack. Really easy minigame. I screw up. Ooh, lovely. A brood squid. Fantastic. I'm just going to go back to my southwest travels. Toot toot. This is fine. This is just in front of you. You're likely to be eaten by a groove. I mean, you're not wrong. That looks like a treasure island over there. That's got palm trees. What the fuck was that? What is that? Oh, it's the thing from earlier, isn't it? Let's just... Meow. Boost activated. Boost uh, disactivated. Deactivated. Not disactivated. That's not a word. Meow. Oh, I may have pressed that for too long and screwed up my engines. I'm not sure. No, I think I'm fine. Is it still coming after me? No, I'm good. Ooh, teleport yourself back to where it all began. Hello. Why am I being followed by crows? Now, arrow squid lost the birds. Get the fuck off. I know that campsite. Next to the dock is a derelict campsite. Strange symbols are scratched into the sand. What do you want to do? Sir, inspect the symbols on the sand. The symbols span the breadth of the camp, twisting this way and that. Some are grouped together into what must be words. Fresh footprints tread carefully around each symbol. The last symbol trails off hurriedly and looks unfinished. Inspect the last symbol more closely. A glint of metal shines up through the sand. It's a sapphire ring. Thanks very much. You take it for yourself. Fresh footprints tread around each symbol. The last symbol trails off hurriedly and looks unfinished. Inspect the footprints. Whoever left the footprints was barefoot. The prints are large and wide, perhaps indicating they were left by a man. Uh, but you don't know much about footprints. <laughs> so, I mean, at least, there's, at least they're honest. Fresh footprints. Tre oh, okay, cool. So that's all right. Uh, search the campsite. An extremely rough and worn sheet of fabric is collapsed at the base of some wooden supports. There's nothing remarkable about it. Okay. So another dodgy campsite. I'm going to rest for a couple of hours. Lovely. Uh, how do not birds... Where am I on the map? Oh, I'm here. Okay. I am going the right way then. Wow, this place is lovely. It does kind of look like the island Jack Sparrow was abandoned on, though, to be honest. But you know what that means? There's probably room on it. I hope there's little... What is that noise? Uh, Hello? Oh, a red snapper. Lovely. Do I have to worry about that big growl from the deep? I'm sure I don't, but do I? Do I not? Do I? Do I not? I don't know. Oh, a, a note. A message of all. What's on here? Oh, a bissial fish. I cannot catch a bissial fish. Oh, God. I can catch death, though, if I crash into the waves. Crash into the sand. 
Uh, oh, September 14th, added to the cabin. Where is it? There we go. I have not written in a few days. I have been afflicted with some strange chill which conspires to fog my mind. It's COVID. I cannot seem to keep warm no matter what I do. The ink has run from some lines here, and they are illegible. While most of what they hauled up was junk, they eventually came up with a large wooden casket. So this is about the casket. Two sea turtles, mate. <laughs> One on each foot. A hush came over the crew at such a tantalizing discovery. I remember the next moments with excruciating clarity. Illegible. <laughs> He pried it open easily. The buckling boards creaked and groaned with relief as they splintered apart. Crimson cloth spilled out onto the deck. The crashing waves rose to fill my ears. I hear them still. Dracula! He stared down into the open casket and turned to me. In his eyes I saw the void. The page has been torn off here. Oh good. Nothing like a bit of fucking drama. What's this? Oh, is this a port? What is this? That appears to be dredge. It is a port. <coughs> a research outpost? Laboratory. The laboratory is in ruins with equipment and research papers strewn around the place. Where do you want to look? Uh, open the cupboards. You check the cupboards and you find a research part. I'd hope I found a research part on a research station. You empty the cupboards. Where do you want to look? Inspect the equipment on the table. There are some strange looking prototype parts on the table, but you can't see any use for them right now. On the other side of the table, you find a hastily scrawled note. It reads, not safe. Expect retaliation imminently. Evacuation, evacuating to fort. Where do you want to look? Look around on the floor. You look around on the floor. It's a floor. <laughs> there are some cracks in the base of the structure that grow into large gashes as you follow them along the walls. Extre something extremely large and powerful created these holes. You slowly reach your arm into one. <laughs> cool. Research file. Free stuff. You plug the item from the gouge in the floor. I am finished here. Generator. An old generator sputters and ticks over. So it's still active then. Uh, do I want... I don't think I want to stay here, actually. Uh, that looks like salvage. Oh, <gasps> Jellyfish! Whatever that is, that's bioluminescent, that is. What is this? Can I shudder towards you? <gasps> I can fish you. Look at this. <gasps> A glowing octopus. I mean, I'm going to have to start upside down. Look at it wibble when I move it. Wibbly, 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 wibbly. Look at my wibbly octopus. Uh, can I put you here? You guys are made for this boat. Blip, blip, blip. This really is Tetris. Okay, I'm going to stop fishing that. Uh, oh god, there's... Oh my god, is that a giant one? Oh, wow. That looks ginormous. Okay, maybe I'm going to stop catching your babies. Years of playing Tetris, paying dividends now with your inventory management. Yeah, absolutely. Decades of playing Tetris and years of playing Resident Evil as well. Uh, I am going to use my power to take me home. Bye. Oh my god, what was... Oh, it does just teleport me back here. Excellent. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Ace. Just what I wanted. Right, what have I got? I've got some trinkets and i got some fish. Cool. Let's go to the fishmonger first. Oh my god, that rock came out of nowhere. Put my lights on. Not one word. Not one word. Seven. Seven fish. Ah, ah, ah. Are uh, these fish I can catch? Oh, come on, I catch these fish. It's fine. It's fine. Someone splashed next to me then. I don't really want to. I'd like to. I'd like to leave. <laughs> I'd like to be out of this. You thought I died from that teleport. To be fair, so had I. I thought I'd exploded. The lighthouse keeper is waiting for you on the dock, looking displeased. I uh, saw you sailing out towards the horizon, crossing that deep expanse. You only think it's wise. What's the problem? It feels like a bit like tempting fate, does it not? 
Things are bad around here without your provocations. Abruptly, she walks away. Her eyes scan the wall as she walks along the dock. Yeah, all right, mate. Uh, how much are these? Ooh, $40 each. What have I got in my thing? In my net? They're all fresh. I'm not, I don't think I have anything I need. Just get rid of all of those. I did say it would send you back to where it all began. <laughs> the hospital where I was born. Oh, the mayor appears in front of you on the dock. His face swims before your his face swims before your eyes. And his words blur with the waves crashing around you. Ah, hmm. uh, okay. If sea fog shapes rest. Careful. Nightmares. You stumble past him into town. That's probably an indication that I need to rest, my dude. He's fine. He's fine. He's okay. Don't don't worry about it. He's got a firm grasp on a reality. <laughs> so let's go sell these trinkets. Trinkets. Delicious trinkets. Uh, do I have any more in my storage? I do have more in my storage. Uh, rot. What? Oh, it's just, that's because I kept one of the crabs in there, wasn't it? I'll probably just discard that. <laughs> Although part of me was like, oh, I might need that. Uh, I'll put that. I'll, you know, I'll give the painter that. I don't want a pirate flag. Hmm. Found a scrap of fabric, a unique design. Do you want to attach it now? No, because I don't want the negative connotations to people thinking I'm a pirate. Um, I don't have any crabs for you either. I do have salvage to trade, though. There you go. Got some stuff. And we got some monies. Uh, and that's everything we can do here, I think. Did we learn that book? No, we didn't. What else have we got to do? Um, let's go to pursuits. we just got to go find that thing, haven't we? Yes. Oh, blue mackerel. I forgot about that. Oh, and rare fish. Yeah, we haven't encountered any of those yet. But yeah, blue mackerel. I forgot about that. There was a, there was a geezer on a rock who wanted a blue mackerel, wasn't there? Some hooded cultist. Right, well, screw going back to Great Marrow, I think. Yeah, screw back, going back to Great Marrow. I can repair my boat elsewhere. Is there not a way you can give me, like, fast travel to other places as well? Like, <laughs> Let's go find... There's bound to be a... a port that I can heal at in uh, what's his what's his face? What's his face? Stella Basin. This <laughs> 100% is going oh, is that is that that gonna be a town? That looks like it's gonna be a town. Let's go there. Straight ahead. Iceberg straight ahead. It's a shame there's no like auto like thingy. If you'd a pirate you'd have a sweet hat and a parrot. Yep. Delicious, delicious Estus. Oh, what is that? I mean, I know what it is. What can I get from it? I could make pirate jokes. Uh, is this just lumber? That's lumber. Cool. There's lots of dredge here. Um, I am going to put a marker down here. Dredge. Right, I need to remember I'm using green for dredge, okay? Great. The hell was that noise? Ah, it's probably nothing. It's probably nothing. Hello, fishy. It's fine. It'd be fine. Oh, yeah, this is why I heard the creature earlier, wasn't it? <laughs> what did the pirate... What did the pirate when he found his wooden leg in the freezer? Go on. <gasps> There's a fort. This is the fort they were talking about. Well, that's ominous, isn't it? The sun setting behind it. Shiver me timbers. 
Excellent work. I like what you've done there. Ooh, another note. A note and a boat. Uh, ooh, that looks like stuff I need. Uh, the art of the silver tongue is now complete. Awesome. 6th and 7th of March. Wait, what? August and March. March. Oh, wow. So this is much... Oh, this is before they left. We are engaged to be married. He sailed us out to the very centre of the stellar basin to see the lights. We talked for hours, something we've not done in such a long time, waiting and hoping. Some time past midnight, as we were glowing, as we were growing delirious and hysterical from the lack of sleep, the aurora shimmered in the skies above. When I turned to see his reaction, he was already down on one knee. I cannot even remember what he said, or what I said, but I know what I said was yes. And the ring was beautiful, and a span of jewels going right the way around. I cannot take my eyes off it. P.S. I was not sure whether to write this under yesterday's date, or today's, given that it occurred in the conjunction of days, but I feel that the news is significant enough to warrant spanning multiple entries. Oh, I'm going to need more equipment for this, aren't I? Is this abyssal? That looks like fish, not necessarily the sparkly bits that indicate a quest item. What do you call a pirate sword that's completely blunt? I don't know. What do you call a pirate sword that's completely blunt? This is the old fortress researcher. Oh, um, hello. I wasn't expecting visitors. Who are you? I'm a fisherman. <laughs> a cutlass. Oh. That's amazing. Oh, yes, I, I thought you had the look. But a fisherman all the way out here? Well, that's, that's strange. Well, it's a pleasure to meet you, all the same. I've not seen another soul in months. In fact, I could do with your help if you had time. What do you need help with? I need help collecting samples for study. I was originally posted at the research outpost in the interior of the basin, but it was attacked. A large creature emerged from the depths and destroyed the outpost. Now it rests at the centre of the basin. I fled here and have been making do as best I can, but I have to leave most of my equipment behind, so now my research has come to a halt. Take a look at the list of specimens I need. Please drop them off here. You might need to experiment with different fishing strategies to collect all of them. I need an aurora jellyfish, a glowing octopus, and a firefly squid. I had a firefly squid, but I've sold it. Um, okay. Is there anything else? Uh, about the specimens you have to... I assume I don't have any of those? Yeah. Tell me about yourself. Um, okay. I don't think there's much to say. I studied biological sciences at Iron Haven College. It was a struggle. There were no other female students in the department that year. Or the year before. Or the year before. It's hard not to feel like an outsider in an environment like that, you know? Well, you probably don't. When I graduated, I managed to land a job at the Northern Biological Research Society, and then, well, I was posted here, by myself. I thought I would relish the peace and quiet, but I miss having company. I've always had someone, or at least a pet. Out here, it's just machines. Is there anything else? What sort of creature attacked you? Well, I got a sense that it was attacking the research outpost itself, rather than me specifically. I suspect it was disturbed by some of the monitoring equipment. There were dozens of machines running there, all powered by a noisy generator. It was huge, larger than any other marine species I've studied. It attacked with tentacles, so I'd guess it was some sort of octopus or squid. Or an anime. An anon anonymy? An... An animo? I don't know that word. I, f I find I'm saying that a lot on stream recently. Maybe I'm losing knowledge. Who knows? It's leaking out of my ears. Uh, one of my research vessels was moored around the back of the station, so I managed to slip away in that while it, teared, while it was tearing apart the front. There was a lot of valuable data and equipment left there, but I'm not going back. I, I can't. I won't face it again. Is there anything else? Have you noticed anything unusual since you arrived, other than getting attacked by a kraken? Well, now that you mention it, I've been so preoccupied with the attack and having to rebuild here, I'd almost forgotten. I found these letters from my sister. She sent them to me a while ago while I was studying. Before... Before she... 
The researcher is quiet for a moment and stares off to the side. Anyway, I keep finding them amongst my papers. I don't remember packing them, but I must have. I started finding them more frequently. They turned up in my collection nets, in my sampling tubes. There were letters I'd never seen before, but they were in her writing. They were in her name. They were saying things, talking about things that happened after she died. I, I can't explain it. Ghosts. You have called the right person for this job. So that's it. Is it? We're just gonna leave that. Okay, cool. <laughs> we're just we're fine with that, are we? Uh, can I put these things in my storage? Bonk, bonk. Uh, actually, speaking of research parts, as I'm a research station, I'm going to spend one on this. So I now have a volcanic and shallow line, which is good. And I'm probably going to spend one on this net. An improved trawler net. Lovely. And rest. <laughs> Awesome. I did wonder what that that motion was. It was the trees moving in fast motion then. Uh, right, undock and reverse, because that's how boats work. Uh, am I trawling this net? I don't think I am, am I? Oh, it's broken, that's why. Is there anywhere I can repair here? Or Maybe there isn't. Wait, where's the, where's the map? There's the map. I caught three octopuses. Oh, I did catch three octopuses. There's something over there as well. Okay, that's the research outpost, I believe. Uh, that's fish. Good, good. Plenty of them in this game. Oh, do you know what would be wild? It'd be cool if there's, like, hidden islands on squares and I have to, like, discover them. That would be very cool. Is that fish? That's fish. Is this something I can go and look at? This is something I can go and look at. What is this? Waves lap at a pile of flotsam collected on the beach. Nestled in the centre is a wooden chest. Look inside. <gasps> a large scrap of paper with some shapes drawn on it. In one corner is a compass symbol. I'll, I'll have that. That looks like a treasure map. I'll have that and that as well. Thank you. Uh, hello. Oops, there we go. Right. Wait, so... Rotate. Can I look at my net? My map? Again? Can I zoom out? Oh my days, this place is huge. There's no star anywhere, is there, on this map? No, there's not. Okay. Oh, but there's coordinates, like A15, A14, A13. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, so the world is actually that big, sort of. Yeah, that's that's the size of the world. Got it. It's not as big as I thought it was. I mean, it's big, but it's not as big as I thought it was. Uh, that's some lumber. I may as well grab that while I'm here. I wonder if lumber respawns. Or if there's like a finite amount of it. Uh, rotate. Oh, no. That nearly chucked it overboard. And uh, rotate. Lovely. Oh, hey, Hugo. How are you doing, handsome boy? Is that a floating thing? Oh, no, that's the research outpost, isn't it? Is that the research outpost? No, it's not. Hi, Hugo. Hello. Hello. Oh, it's the floating thing. No, it's not. Is it? Starlight Pontoon. Oh, it is, yeah. Hello. Hey again. Come by for a chat. What do you think of the Stella Basin? I can't see, but my cat's bum's in the way. Hello. What beautiful crystalline water. It's a shame I can't take my boat much further in. I've run aground on the coral a few times. 
Have you checked out the abandoned resort to the east? It's pretty impressive. There's probably some decent salvage to be had there. The abandoned resort to the east, you say? It's kind of amazing how quickly it all falls to ruin without people around to maintain it. In a few years, these pontoons will probably go the same way. And it's just the way of things, I guess. Is there anything else you want to talk about? Uh, no. No. Undock. Abandoned thing to the east. You mean the, this? Abandoned resort to the... Oh, no, it's west, east. There we go. Abandoned resort to the east. Oh, do you mean this? Like... Hmm... Uh, well, let me just... What have I got on me? I need storage, don't I? And there we go. So store all of that. And then fix the boat. Nope, fix the boat. I suppose you're going to say you couldn't avoid that rock that appeared out of nowhere. Yeah, yeah, I've heard it all before. Let's get you fixed up. <laughs> Brilliant. Uh, right, so that's volcanic and shallow, that rod. Hey, Peter Princess, how you doing? Sorry, Prince, Princess Peter, not Peter Princess. Very different, very, very different distinction there. Um, that is coastal and shallow. I want to keep the coastal, though. That's the thing. It's oceanic. That would be quite cool. Uh, I think that's everything. I think I'm pretty... Oh, hello. Are you wanting to sit on me? Oh, yeah. I'm going to have to rearrange myself. There you go. You sit here. Just making some space for a cat. Sorry. Bear with me. I'm just making some space for a cat. There you go. Who's a handsome boy? This is why I've got this on and off. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> Alrighty. I need to shift to my left a little because I'm not in camera. Well, I am, but... Oh. Oh, there we go. You all sorted. You comfy? Yeah? You comfy? I'd say we need cat cam, but you're just here. Thank you are. Yeah. You want to turn around? Yeah. You're the wrong. You're the wrong orientation. You're like a USB drive. You've tried the first way. That doesn't work. You try the second way. That doesn't work. You try the third way, which is actually the first way, and then that works, isn't it? Yes, it is. Yes. All right. I've made you a little. I made you a little bed with my arms. There you go. You can rest your head on me and everything. All right. Anyway, what are we doing? Sorry, got catted then. Uh, let's go. The abandoned resorts to the east. Some good salvage, you say? Oh, good. Another bloody spooky rock. Oh my good god, that's a crab. Giant enemy crab approaches. No, no thank you. My cash is like, what are you screaming at? I, d I do not like that. That's absolutely not. Oh, there's a uh, jellyfish over there. Uh, not jellyfish. There's octopuses over there. I need some octopuses. They mostly come out at night. Mostly. I think these are octopuses. I'm not actually certain anymore. Oh, no. I'm not as comfy as I was. Uh, they might, might be octopuses. They're not. They are firefly squids. Yeah, I need a firefly squid. Right, I also need to put my trawler net down because I haven't. Yeah, let's avoid that. You're in the wrong franchise, mate. You need to go back to Breath of the Wild. Oh, I need my lights on a second. If I can see anything. Oh, no, let's turn it off for that. Oh, good, more. Oh, no, please leave me alone. Is this jellyfish? Uh, not jellyfish, is this thingies? Octopus. Oh, I, oh, wait, what was this? A pile of loose debris. It could be cleared to make a shortcut. Yeah, sure, why not? 
I don't have any packed explosives because I dropped them, didn't I? Wait, can I just not go around this? I'm sorry, can I hear a, a, a dog? A dog! There's a skinny brown dog leaping around in the shallows. Occasionally it lunges at the water, snapping at some small silvery fish. Its technique is ineffective. Oh, it's savage. You jump off the boat into thigh-high water. The dog stops chasing fish and focuses on you. Pat the dog. Uh, slowly approach. Call for the dog. Throw some fish toward the dog. Throw some fish toward the dog. Throw some scraps towards the water near the dog. It pounces at the splash and the shallow seawater. Slowly approach. You wade towards the shore. As you get nearer, the dog backs up a little ways. It sits. Slowly approach. You start to walk close to the dog, but it runs away nervously and hides in some bushes. After a few moments, it emerges again. Call for the dog. You make soft, encouraging noises, and the dog cautiously approaches. It stops just out of your reach. Uh, pat the dog. You extend your arm out towards the dog. It shies away and retreats to the shoreline. It looks at you expectantly and licks its lips. Hold out some fish in your hand. <laughs> you hold out some fish scraps in the palm of your hand. The dog approaches slowly and soon begins licking at them. Pat the dog. You reach out and gently pat the dog. Its eyes follow your hand and seems to understand you're not a threat. Pat the dog. You pat the dog again. It seems to be enjoying it. Pat the dog. You pat the dog again. It seems to be enjoying it. Pat the dog. You pat the dog again. It seems to be enjoying it. Okay, we'll leave. You make your way back towards the boat. This is it. Pat the dog, pat the dog, pat the dog. Uh, as you're wading out, you hear the sloshing of four legs cutting through water. You stop and turn around. The dog is standing a few paces behind you. It tilts its head questioningly. Let it follow you. You continue, this time with the dog alongside. Its tail is wagging so hard it beats the water into a froth behind it. When you get to the boat, you turn around and pull the dog on board. 100% we've just got a dog. You lift the dog onto the deck. It walks around briefly before curling up into a ball and looking at you. Maybe you could find this dog a more permanent home, like on our boat. <laughs> Excellent. We have got a dog. Uh, I probably don't want to find it at home around here. <laughs> we've, uh, we've got a dog. We've got a boat dog. Yeah. I mean, it's oh, that's not going to end well for me, is it? Is this another killer crab? Oh no. That's a that's not a real boat. That's what that is. There's no other boats in these waters. Oh, it is just a shortcut. Go around. I'm sure this is where I caught the octopus. Wait, where's the research station? I'm I'm being stupid. Uh, it's behind me. It's behind me. I'm pretty certain I'm safe here. Like, I don't think it can get me here. Right? Oh, dear. I've been wrong before. Oh, good. Just what he needs. He's, he stayed awake all night again, avoiding deadly fish. Uh, research outpost? Research outpost. Uh, jelly, uh, octopus? Octopus. That's what I need. No, they've gone. Curses. I'm going to have to wait until nightfall. Unless, what are you? Ooh, you're shiny. That's what you are. You are some broken spectacles. And doc. Okay, so... Oh, the woman! She's lonely, isn't she? She wants a pet. The laboratory's in ruins. Yeah, what do you want to do? Uh, Hang on. There was a... Was there not something I needed from here? Am I being... I think I'm being stupid. I thought I needed something from here. Pursuits. Oh, I can't actually use the shortcut for pursuits while I'm at dock. Collect all samples. Got it. Collect all the samples she needs. Glowing fish, firefly squid, and aurora jellyfish. Okay, cool. What do I have? I have a firefly squid. That's it. No aurora jellyfish. No, nothing. Oh, a stray dog gets killed off asleep, opening one eye occasion to watch you move around the boat. Oh. 
Uh, right, I need to get my dude some rest. That'll do him. That'll do him nicely. Right, we're going to go and give this lady her... Oh, is this, this doesn't look safe. This does not look a safe distance. Disturbed water? No? Okay, cool. We can't reach into there. Uh, what about this one? We need... Um, actually, I could do with having a look at what water type it is. Shallow water. This is shallow water anyway. What type of fish is this? A barracuda? Rotate. That's a, that's a long boy, that is. I'm just going to take one of those. Go towards the fort, because I can drop off one of those things. Is this more barracuda? There's more barracuda. That's fine. That's another fish in the net. Let's just see what it was. It wasn't a squid or an octopus. Unfortunate. But we'll find them eventually. I think we just need to wait for night time, to be fair. Uh, right, let's dock here a second. So, researcher. Oh, hello again. Well, what do you need? Those specimens you're after. Take a look at the list I need. Please drop them off here. You might need to experiment with different fishing catching methods. Uh, you ha want this. There you go, a firefly squid. That is what you want, isn't it? Yeah. Good. Is there anything else? Uh, this dog needs a home. Do you want it? A, a dog? Oh my gosh, let me see. The dog bounds over to the researcher. She crouches down to pet the dog, grinning. The dog licks her chin in response. I could definitely take this one off your hands, and I'd love the company. Are, are you sure? Yes, you. Yeah, she actually should keep the dog if she's that lonely. Dog removed from inventory. Yes, thank you. Oh, we're going to be such good friends. You can be my assistant. Uh, suddenly, what? Suddenly, the dog stands upright and begins to retch, its stomach heaving. Seconds later, it vomits a wet glob onto the floor. Something glistens in the mucus. Oh, um, that's interesting. I suppose that's yours if you want it. Okay. A sapphire ring? I'll sure. I can clean the rest up. Don't worry about that. Ch cheers. Thanks. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna leave now. I'm actually gonna rest until nightfall. I just take the bar for it. Yeah, I'll just take that. But that's fantastic. Not one thing. I'm not I'm not above taking like random jewelry out of animal vomit. I'll be honest with you. As long as I know the animal. Like if it was just a random dog, I'd just be like, oh, I don't know where that's come from. Now like that well that dog was mine. It only for like fifteen seconds, but that dog was mine, so that's fine. <laughs> if my like one of my cats puked up something shiny, I'd be like, What is that? Actually, I'd immediately think it's like tinfoil or something like that that one of my cats has eaten by accident by trying to get like a sandwich or something. Um, yes, rest. That's what I'm doing. Rest until nightfall. It is now nightfall. We we're gonna do some fishing. Your cats throw up doesn't bother you. But dogs and humans are a hard pass. That's fair. I do, I've had more experience cleaning up cats sick than human than a cat, cat sick than dog sick. And there's a, a hilarious but disgusting story about human vomit that I probably shouldn't share. <laughs> uh, it's just shaming myself. It's not shaming anybody else. Oh, good. Oh, a, a Medusa octopus. That's not what I wanted. I wanted a glowing octopus. Can I? Oh, that's the wrong button. There we go. Ugh. Uh, glowing octopus. Yeah. Perfect. What else did I need? I needed a... Oh, I can't remember now. A jellyfish. One of these. Hello. Flip. Oh my god, you exploded. How do I even get you? Oh, hello. You're back, I see. That's good to see. I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna trundle along this way. I'm just out of your reach, aren't I? It must be infuriating for you. <laughs> get fucked. Get absolutely dicked on. Uh, right. I need this. What? Can I have this, please? 
How do I catch this? How do you catch? Don't bump into it. Go around it, maybe? Ow! Something still is into the cargo hold. No, that's not how that works. That's unfortunate. Get rid of that. Uh, right. Let's... Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. That's not good. I'm being chased by a cyclone. And I'm not sure where I'm going. I want to go back to the fort. Evasive maneuvers? Evasive maneuvers? <laughs> cyclone's just like... Brrr. Good. Good. Now, hard left. There we go. Excellent. Awesome. Alrighty. Now, how... how oh, something still isn't the cargo net. No, don't attack the squid. No, that's fine. You get out. Uh, where's the fort gone? Have I just gone completely past it? I was heading towards the fort a second ago. What the hell happened? Oh, oh it's behind me. Oh, of course it is. Hey, it's Izzy Stardust. How are you doing? It's like watching Beach Coma Bay on TV. Nice. I hope you're doing well, Izzy. It's good to see you. Uh, hello. That jumped out of the water at me. Right, let's, let's give you this. Give it before it gets infected with something. Oh, hello again. What do you need? About those specimens you're after. Take a look at the specimens I need. Please drop any of them off here. Right, let's give you this one. So I now need an Aurora Jellyfish. Oh, it's a coastal type. Oh, and I catch it in a net. Got it. What kind of net do I need? I need no, it is a coastal net. Okay, so basic troll net should do it. Okay, cool. So... I'm going to go back, sell what I've got, come back, and then try and catch one of these um, Aurora jellyfish. I mean, I'm going to rest first because my dude's going a bit crazy. So let's just rest for a bit. Because I may have accidentally kept him up all night in the horrors of the deep. But anyway, uh, let's... Where is it? Manifest. Teleport me back. <laughs> does not look like a teleportation. <laughs> that looks like death by explosive. And I am going the wrong way. I need to go this way. Oh, wait. Did I ever investigate back here? I don't think I investigated back here, did I? The back of Greater Marrow. Let's dredge this. Lovely, lovely, lovely dredge. Presents from the sea. Oh, lovely. Ace. Oh, that's been completely done. Uh, there's some... Oh, I need some bombs. Get quick. Fetch me bombs. Where's my speedy, speedy boots? Speedy boots. Na, 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 na. Gummy bears. Da, 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 da. Uh, storage. I require. Oh, actually, I can. I can just stash some of these. Uh, what's happened to the fish while I've been? Oh no. Oh, they're stale and rotting. Okay. Fair. Uh, I require this packed explosive, please. I have ignored the fish. I actually kind of forgot I had fish in my inventory when I was doing that. Um, so we're going to check out what's behind these rocks. Oh no, that's not what I wanted to do, is it? I want that, because I need to turn my light off if I see a spooky light. Or a boat, like that. Oh, god damn it. I gotta... I gotta leave. I need to leave. Go, get away from me, you phantom ship. Oh, thanks, Izzy's. I don't need that. Thanks. No, I'm good. I'm good. Go away. I'll just I'll just wait it out. I'll just wait. I can move forward a bit now. My cat's not laying my lap. 
Oh, because he's just been fed. Oh, I see. I mean, and obviously because he loves me. That's why he's lay on me, obviously. Uh, so, I'm going to go around here. Now I can just do boat zoomies for a bit. Sea zoomies. Go this way. So there's fish there. There's this. What is this? <laughs> yeah, my, my uh, commands are actually working this time. <laughs> Unlike most times when I forget to turn the bot on. Uh, it's like the TikTok I sent on the Discord about the, um, as it, Folklorizing 899 asked, what do I do just before streaming? And I'm like, oh, I do all these checks. One of the things I said was like, I sometimes remember to turn the chat bot on, and then sometimes I don't. What is this? Is this just refined metal? It's just refined metal. I wasted a bomb on this. Oh, poo. There we go. I mean, that's fair enough. I'm going to need it, but still. It could have been something better, like infinite, infinite money. Infinity million monies. Uh, right, what am I doing? I am going to sell my stuff. Hello. The stone hums quietly, sending ripples to the air. Faint shapes dance upon its surface, vanishing before your eyes. The cold stone leaves you on red and does not respond. You are sad. Is this where the mackerel man is? Where is mackerel man? I need to find mackerel man. Hello, mackerel man. This is... Oh, there's a rock. I need to remember how boats work. This is not where Mackerel Man is. This is where Greater and Lesser Marrow is. Oh, Mackerel Man's over there. We'll go and get Mackerel Man in a minute. What is that? Why is that above the surface? What's going on here? What is this? Oh, it's Flounders. Oh, not Flounders. Are they Flounders? I don't know. I'm floundering around with these puns. <laughs> uh, okay, so trader. Do I have any trinkets on me right now? Oh, yeah, I've got... No, i got some rot on me. Uh, do you want some rot? Can I interest you in a bit of rot? Do you fancy any rot, mate? Um, I am going to get rid of that rot. Thanks very much. I don't know if having rot in my inventory is going to cause me any issues. So let's take that, 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 and that. And I think that's all that... Wait. Is this a trinket? I want to know if that's a trinket or not. Trader? No, it's not. So I do actually use that. Okay. So sell all of my trinkets. Good. Stick this back in my storage. And that. And these two bolts of cloth. Good, 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 good. Now let's go... <laughs> let's try not to damage the ship. Good, good, good. I'm not doing very well at that right now. Let's hydrate ourselves. And then let's go see if we can solve, resolve mackerel man. Because he wanted a blue mackerel. The dude on the rocks. I'm pretty sure he's some sort of cultist. But I, who am I to judge? I'm using forbidden eldritch powers that have been forced upon me. I'm basically like a cultist acolyte at the minute. So... there. I think it's there, isn't it? The stick sensitivity in this game is superb. Like, I, I'm not even moving my stick and it just, it wobbles from side to side. Maybe it's supposed to do that because it's a ship. I'm not sure. Are these going to be mackerels? Do you just need me? Oh god, no, it's six o'clock, isn't it? Oh, There's no mackerels after six. Everyone knows that. There ain't no mackerels around here. Oh, you want mackerel land for that? No mackerels around here after this time. Wee! That turned my ship. Where? Are, does this take me places? Does this lead me somewhere? Or am I just... Is this like a siren's call for me? And I'm going to be like... Destroyed on the rocks. You're going to destroy me on rocks, you prick. <laughs> Is it this? Are you trying to take to me what the pulse was a familiar looking wreck? Yeah, we've already looked at it. It looks exactly like our boat. Oh, lights off. 
There's a spooky ghost. Spooky ghost. <laughs> now I'm just taunting the entities. Standard practice. Uh, so let's... I would have liked to have resolved Mackerel Man before I went back to the... Oh, there's lots of spooky entities around here. This fog is very angry. Oh, hang on a minute. Where's my crab pots? Oh, I left them out to sea, didn't I? Oh, yeah, I left them right out. Oh, well. I'll, fi I'll find them eventually. I think I'll find them eventually. Yeah, they're all out there. Okay. All right. Patch up my ship. That's not patching up my ship. Patch up my ship. There we go. Um, I'll rest for a bit, I guess, because I need to. I need it to be daytime actually, so I can get some mackerel. Thank you. Ooh, am I tempted to go and get those trawler pots? No, I don't think I am. Oh, I should have put a pin down where mackerel man was. Are you mackerel? Wait, my thingy tells me what fish are, don't they? Is this? No, that's not mackerel. That's not mackerel. That's tiger mackerel. I don't need tiger mackerel. Oh god, my ship is listing. That's oceanic perch. No, okay. Where are the blue mackerels? I'll take a sky blue mackerel at this rate. I'll take a pale blue mackerel. I'll even take an azure mackerel. Give me your bloody mackerels. They might have been around here. I feel... Oh, yeah, this is the island they were on. I was like, I feel completely lost. And I know these waters pretty well. Blue mackerel? Oceanic perch? Nope. Uh, hang on a minute. That's a different island. That's got a chest on it. That, what the? There's some proper spooky noises over there. Is that a whale? That's a whale. Look at that. That was an actual whale. That's so cool. Uh, is this a thing I can get? A rotting chest peeks out from the skeleton of a wrecked ship. Look inside. Uh, cheers. Thanks very much. I will take all of those. I'll have your doubloons. I'll have your trinkets. I'll have your everything. Thanks very much. Bye bye. These all go nicely towards paying off my debts. Are you blue mackerel? Oceanic perch? Nope. Excellent. Where am I going? Oh, it must have been around here. Oh, maybe it's these. I mean, these ones. I've gone too far out. See, I just. It's the wonderlust. That's the thing. I just want to. I want to explore all the things. It has absolutely nothing to do with my poor sense of direction. That's got nothing to do with it. I just want to explore stuff. Is this blue mackerel? No, you're also oceanic perch. I already know that. I checked this literally 15 seconds ago. Come on, brain. You can do much better than this. What is that? Is that a turtle? That, that's a turtle. Wait, hang on a minute. What's, uh, where's my thing? Release. Oh, he's gone. Oh, no, he's there. Can I catch you? Can I, can I catch you now like this? We bloop. No. Are you decorative? Are you a decorative turtle? You might be a decorative turtle. Bloop. Hey, lizard soul, how you doing? Imagine if an adult blue whale washed ashore bitten in half. That would be terrifying. <laughs> Absolutely terrifying. The giant blue, the giant squid, just big bite mark out of it. It's a megalodon. Uh, there. Uh, are you blue mackerel? Nope. You're also oceanic perch. I would. Oh, a ship. You have lights on. How do you have lights on? There's a there's a two cent uh, a gnashing perch. Uh, you're not a per. You're not a boat. You're not a boat at all. You need to. You're a mimic. You need to remember your franchise, buddy. Get back in your own story. Uh, that doesn't appear to be anything I can investigate. Uh, I'm sorry. Have I just gone around in a big circle? I went around in a fucking big circle. I'm so idiot. 
Oh god, oh god. Tonight Mike is SpongeBob SquarePants. <laughs> that was like a shark. It's a very crabby crab, and it's getting dark. Fantastic. I should probably turn my lights on and figure out where the fuck I'm going. I'm going west. That's where I'm going. Let's just follow my compass. Let's not be stupid about this. Let's follow my actual compass. I'm going west, slightly north. Turn my lights off so the spooky ghost faces don't get me. Go away, please. Turn my lights back on. And now check my map. That's not my map. That's my encyclopedia. That's a tiny island. I'm not sure if that's the island I want with Captain Mackerel on it. Oh, I'm going to have to wait a second. Uh, oh, what's, what's this? Is this, this fish? Fish, 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 fish. Oh, I fucked it. Fish. It's a stingray. 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 Turn my lights on. Avoid spooky. Turn my lights off. Ah, these islands. That's what I want. If I just sort of potter around these islands a bit, I'll be able to find something. I mean, it's going to take me a few hours to to actually find what I need. Have I caught one in the net and not realized it? Uh, firefly squid, red snapper, firefly squid, firefly squid, a gnashing perch, another red snapper, and an arrow squid. Nope. No, nope, that's also another stingray. Excellent. Not what I wanted. Oh, rocks. That's also not what I wanted. Lights, please. Oh, no lights. Lights. No lights. Lights. No lights. I'm pretty certain the person I need is on these islands. Are you near here? Perhaps? Near this environmental signposting? You are not near this environmental signposting. You shitbag. Oh, you are. I think you're here. You are here. In fact. Hello. Hello. Fulfill the hunger. The hooded figure unfurls an old paper scroll. They point to the shape shown at the top, and it's of a mackerel. You don't have any mackerel, so you ignore the hooded figure and leave. I just gonna have to like go around in circles a bit until the time ticks away. Whee. Unless that was a mackerel. Nope. Wait, is that a pontoon? Not a pontoon. A pier? Is that a pier? Wait, is that someone on the pier? No, but it might be up here. A pier up here. It's... No. Oh my god, that was an entire ghost island. That was so mean. That was so mean. I mean, in fairness, it's nearly dawn. So, we have the sun on our side. And the music's come on now, so we know we're safe. Oh, I say we're safe. Ow! My basic trawler net has lost durability because I got attacked by a ghost fish. You bastard. Uh, there, I'm going behind me. It's behind, it's a here. It's a here. It's a me. Fishio. I'm going it's a here. I also need some bloody mackerels. Blue mackerel! My god, right, let's just get this fucking done, shall we? <laughs> give me, give me your mackerel. Give me, give me your mackerel. If I never see another mackerel again in my entire life, it'll be too soon. Go. There. Put the mackerel there. Go feed the man the mackerel. And then let's never speak of him again. I never want to see the hooded blue man again. I'm pretty sure these are mackerel, aren't they? You could... Oh, no, they go flounder. Okay, I was going to say, if they're mackerel, you could have waded out and got one. Hello. Fulfill the hunger. Here you go. Have a mackerel, friend. This doesn't seem like it's going to have any negative repercussions whatsoever. The expert precision, they plunge their hands through the gullet of the fish and tear out the heart and stuff it into their mouth unceremoniously. More. Still. Empty. They point to another shape on the second scroll. It's a tiger mackerel. Okay. I... No, I'm not feeding you. I'm not your dad, okay? I'm not your real dad. I'm just living with your mum. Uh, right. So I need to go... Fuck it, I'm gonna use this. Wabam! Explody times! And then I'm gonna use this, because I can. Whee! Even though it increases my panic, and my guy's about to have a heart attack and die. Whee! What was that noise? I think something was trying to eat me then. 
Good job I didn't see it. <laughs> if I don't see it, it's not scary. That's my philosophy. Right, I'm just going to... Uh, I'm gonna go to the fish one. Go first. I'm gonna. Do I have anything in my net? I got loads. I got loads, mate. Take all that, right? Warts and all. Take all that. Give him some shut eye, because he needs some rest. Good. Oh, good. Yeah. So he's going out at night. Fantastic. Uh, and now shipwright. Is it shipwright? Yes. Repair all of my stuff, please. Okay. Now nets. I got basic and I got an improved trawler net. 8 per day, 10 per day, 8 per day, 10 per day. Capacity 5 by 6 or 5 by 5. Ooh. Oh, it even says it's an option for passive income. I love that it even says passive income. <laughs> um, uh, I mean, I'm tempted. What other engines have we got? Because I don't feel very fast at the minute. Then that's not going to fit. Wait. Shut up a second. Is that if I buy one of these, can I fit it sideways on this? Because that does not feel like it would fit. That does not feel like it would work. Oh no, that's uninstall. I don't want to uninstall that. Um, dun, 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 dun. No, that's what I've got. I kind of want a new net, but I also don't mind not having a new net as well. What was I after? Uh, no, I tell you, I'm gonna I'm gonna buy a new net. I'm going to install it there. Right. And then I'd like to sell you this. Thank you. So, yes, that's that's how selling works. And now, what have we got? We've got zero research parts. Okay, I thought we had research parts. Dry dog. We do have car, uh, stuff, though. Uh, do I have any lumber? I do have lumber, which means I can get more uh, net spaces. There we go. And now we can start saving up for another new hull. Because God knows I've been going through them. Um, oh, refined meth. I knew this stuff would come in handy. I definitely didn't say that was useless. Uh, oh, shit. I just popped that in my inventory by accident. Yep. And yep. And lumber. Lumber. We might be able to do this now, actually. We might be able to level up the ship again. Twice in one stream. That never happens. Ever. And some scrap. There we go. 800 doubloonaroonies. Another hull. Yeah. I don't know if the boat looks any different. It might. I'm not sure it does, but it might. It might be a very slight change. Uh, okay. So, yeah. What were we doing? The pursuits. What pursuits were we doing? What do we need from over there? The relic from Stella, a ring in Stellar Basin. Okay. And we need to find a Aurora jellyfish using a net. That was it. Right. Let's head on out. Uh, should I head out now? Oh, wait until morning. Oh, no, the boat does look bigger. Yeah, the boat definitely looks bigger. Wait, it's going to be marginally easier. Wait. No, there's no cat on my footstool. We're fine. I can stick my legs out. Uh, yeah, undock. And let's go. What's the easiest way to get there? That steel point. I'm just going right on. Just turn it around here. That's going to be the easiest way. It's going to be the easiest way. Wow, my boat actually looks like a boat now, not like a dinghy. Oh, I need, I need to uh, deploy. There we go. Oh, no, maybe I shouldn't deploy here. Maybe I should only deploy when I'm there. Because I'm looking specifically for a fish there on our. Okay. And there is a thingy there. There's a traveler, traveling merchant there. So actually, yeah, no, I can do that. I'll do this. Now, I'll also get some of this salvage as well. Because I love me some dredge. <gasps> he said the name of the game. Good. Uh, oh, I didn't sell my trinkets. Curses. 
It's alright. I can stick him in my storage when I get to Stella Basin. That's that depleted. Good. Chuk, 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 chuk. Ooh, something shiny. Something trinkety. Uh, and finally, I think it's. Oh no, it's it's uh, scrap metal. It looks like bolts of cloth. Mainly because the thing on the left hand side looked like a folded up deck chair, but. Oh, shite. Absolute pollocks. I can't handle all of this extra scrap. Is that... Can I move that over there? Is that not a thing? No, it's not. It's not a thing I can do. And now I've wasted all my time fetching scrap. And I need to remove this marker. There we go. Is it this way? Yes, it's actually this way. Lights off. <laughs> Lights on. Oh, a fish. Oh my god. It's raining so hard outside. <laughs> I heard a weird noise to my right, and I'm like, what is that on the window? Uh, right, I'm going to deploy the net. Oh, no, it is deployed, isn't it? Yes, because it's caught, already caught a fish. And now I'm going to go to... Where's the thingy? Where's the... Starlight pontoon. That's what I need. I'm going this way. Good. Not across the basin, because I think that's very, very dangerous. <laughs> I have no idea how to catch one of these. I'm just going to, like, slide near it and hope for the best. Oh, no. Oh, no. There's a ghost ship. Quick. Divert power to engines. Oh, that's where that red... Ah, an aurora jellyfish. Lovely. That's where that red light is coming from. It's the center of this basin. Oh, I see. That weird red light in the north. It's coming from the center of this basin. I kind of want to go to the center of the basin now. Right, well, I, I, no, I need to go to the fort now, don't I? Because I've just caught one. Oh, no, where's that boat? Oh, my God, it's a pirate ship. It's an actual big pirate ship. There's the fort. Let's go on the outside of this. Because that feels safer. I don't know why. And it's morning. And then I can rest at the fort as well. Just been chundering along. Uh, I will turn my lights off. Turn that on in case I need it. Was there still a pirate ship behind me? No, good. Whew. Not now, it's daytime. Uh, right, to go around here. <laughs> My, the eye at the top looks frantic. Absolutely frantic. A hammerhead shark. <gasps> That's so cool. Oh my god, it's a death twister. No, bye. <laughs> Say hello, sucker. <laughs> You're not going to... You can't attack me when I'm here, surely. No, good. Oh, thank God. Right, hello. Oh, hello again. What do you need? About those uh, samples you need. I have a fish for you. Here you go. There you go. Oh, thank you. It looks like you've caught all the surface specimens I need. But, um, yes, I do need some from deeper down. But that's going to be a problem. Uh, why is it a problem? Well, I developed a device to retrieve samples from the abyssal zone. This was over the other research outpost before the attack. I have an idea of how to keep the creature at bay long enough to collect those samples, but uh, while I work on that, I need you to retrieve some prototype parts. I'm on it. Carefully. I suggest you go during the day. I wouldn't want you to be out on the reef at night. Uh, it's a bit late for that. Is there anything else? Uh, nope. I'm going to rest for a couple of hours, though, and I'm fine. <laughs> He's fine. 
He's absolutely... Oh, God. Oh, oh, Cav, give over. You bumped it. And it was sand, you lunatic. Right, that's the research outpost, isn't it? Boost. Boost. I should probably go to the Starlight Pontoon at some point and sell some of these fish. But not right now. Maybe after this, actually. Whee. Uh, lab. The laboratory is in ruins. Uh, what do you want to look for? Uh, search the core... Oh, no. Look at the equipment on the table. After some searching, you find the prototype parts that the researcher needs to assemble the sampling device. Got him. You stow the prototype parts on board. Where do you want to look? I will search everything else as well, just in case. I mean, I've done it before, but just in case there's anything new. There's nothing else here. Look around on the floor. There's papers. No, is it? Okay, sweet. Let's go. So now, let's go to the pontoon. The starlight pontoon, which is not this. Oh, this is the resort that they were talking about. Oh, I'm such a dummy. I'm such a dummy sometimes. I'm just like, there's no there's no resort around here. There's just these beautiful little chalets on the ocean. I'm such a dumb dumb. I really am. <coughs> and now, yes, I can get here and then sell store and then rest. Hopefully sell. Hopefully nothing's gone rotten. I hope nothing's gone wrong. Uh, fish market. Hello. When trawling, pay attention to how deep the water is. Not every type of fish likes deep water. Check your encyclopedia if you're not sure. Is this... Are they all okay? They're all fresh. Lovely. Now, do fish stay fresher? I'd assume in real life, fish stay fresher if they're in a trawling net. Like, rather than your cargo hold, right? That's my assumption. I don't know. But... Uh, Let's go to the shipyard because I've got a tiny sand hole in my boat for some reason. I don't know how that's happened. Um, and then let's pocket all... Oh, no, I need the prototype pods. God damn it. Let's pocket all of these. Lovely stuff. Can I move this? Is this not a thing I can move now? I'd like to move it. Can I uninstall it and reinstall it? Yeah, it's fine. I'm, I'm fine with that. Whoa, we've got such a big boat. Rest. I'll rest him through the night. It, it makes no odds to me. It's probably a little bit safer to go during the day, in fact. Uh, now back to the fort. So I now understand why, how I could probably get to the middle of the basin, at least. I wonder if I've got the uh, equipment to do what I need to do and get what I need to get. Like the ring, that's it. There's a ring here, isn't there? Another fish? How exciting. Lovely stuff. So just pull in nice and gentle like. Awesome. Uh, right, researcher. Oh, hello again. Uh, what do you need? I have those prototype parts for you. Oh, excellent. Let me assemble a device for you. This should allow you to catch specimens from much greater depths. It's a little slow, but you may be able to make some improvements. It is a sampling device. Awesome. I'll put that there. Thanks. Now, I've developed a repulsion machine that produces a bright light and emits a high-pitched noise. It should deter the creature from attacking or enrage it. I'm not sure. Connected to the research outpost generator, you'll have to return and re-engage it every few hours. But other than that, it's completely automated. <laughs> Great. Now, 
Take a look at this list of specimens. Remember, you want to install and activate the machine before attempting to collect these. You might also need to improve the equipment I gave you to catch some of them. Oh my god, an anglerfish! <gasps> oh my lord, a loose jaw, a snailfish, and a giant amphipod? Amphipod. Hadal abyssal, Hadal abyssal, fantastic. Oh, so I'm actually, I am actually catching them with a net, so uh, with a, a line. So I need a Hadal and abyssal. Oh well, that's abyssal. I just don't have Hadal. Okay. Custom time from the researcher is inefficient, but it should allow me to harvest some samples from the depths. Okay, well let's give it, a, let's give it a blast. So to speak. What's the worst that could happen, right? What is the worst that could happen? I'm going the wrong way. That's what could happen right now. I need to go this way. Boost. Panic boost. Oh, that's the beast, isn't it? That's the beast I can hear. And feel. My controller's vibrating like anything. Is that how abyssal is pronounced in English? Not that I have used that word for... Uh, yes. Uh, well, it, I, that's how I pronounce it anyway. Because it's abyss. So, abyssal. Or abyssal. You could say abyssal. I think I always say abyssal. I'm not sure why I say that actually. Maybe I heard. Maybe I listened to a um, thingy, a Lovecraftian kind of audiobook, and it said it something similar. What is that? Bottomless line. An improvement on the sampling device. A hundred percent. Oh, I haven't got the research pass for it. Of course, I don't. Generator. The researcher's repulsion machine could be connected to the output generator here. All right. A small object rolls out from under the generator, covered in dried salt. Lovely. That's exactly what I wanted. Activate the machine. Not right now. Let's do this first. Hadal and Abyssio. Bombless and now available in stores. Excellent. Let's go buy one. That's exactly what we need. Where's the pontoon? Where's the pontoon? There's the pontoon. Panic boost. Oh, that's a that's a tentacle. I don't really want to. I don't get too close to that. It's fine. It doesn't care about me. I'm not a threat. I am harmless. Once I do this, it will be mostly harmless. So it's an old timey pronunciation. Yeah, probably. It may be the wrong pronunciation, but it may be the original pronunciation. I'm not quite sure. Uh, I forgot what I'm doing now. Floating dock. No. <laughs> Shipyard. Wow, one sec. There we go. Literally rain and wind battering my window, so I just had to close the vent. How much is this? 405. I'll take one. I mean, I can't install it, but I'll take one. Oh, well, refund me a second. Uh, put it in my storage. Okay. Uh, can I uninstall this? Thank you. Put that in my storage. And uninstall this and put that in my storage. Thank you very much. Now install this. Install. Install to cargo. Can I install it upside down? I could if I wanted to. Uh, it takes four hours. That's fine. I'm going to rest afterwards. Cool. So Abyssal and Hadal. Lovely stuff. Uh, now. Sleep. That'll probably do yeah. Let's go back over there. It'll be daytime by the time we get there. Eh. 
Don't drink and drive, kids. <laughs> Lovely. Uh, yes, it's over here. Ooh, lightning. That makes me slightly concerned that I'm going to get struck by lightning. Oh, I should have sold my fish. I could have made some money back. Because we are now dirt poor. <laughs> like, dirt poor. We have $30 to our name. I think it was Folk Horizon earlier that said we're going to bankrupt ourselves with all the damage done. Now I actually can't repair my ship. So this better go well. Generator. The repulsion machine you installed is still connected to the generator. Activate the machine? Sure. The repulsion machine hums and whirs to life. A few seconds later, a bright light shoots from the top and an alarm begins blaring. The researcher said this should keep the creature at bay for a time at least. Well, let's go then. Oh lord. Oh lord. This feels like a bad idea. A loose jaw. No, a gulper eel. That's one of the things we needed for the other person, isn't it? A snail fish. Good. A whatever this was. Oh, no. A giant amphipod. Good, 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 good. A dredge. Oh, I mean, I'll take this. It's a pair of earrings. Lovely. Ah, I'll take it. This is also giant amphipods. Don't need that. Uh, that's a snail fish, isn't it? Yeah. Don't need that. Oh, I wonder if it needs to be at night now. No, also amphipod. What is this? Is this dredge? This might be dredge. Sexy, sexy dredge. Sexy, sexy, sexy dredge. It's a doubloon. A single doubloon. Oh, no. I'm getting a little bit concerned. Maybe it is. Maybe I just need to do it at night as well. More earrings. Well, now it is getting night time, so I should be able to see more different fish. That's more different fish. Brilliant. That's fantastic English, isn't it? What's this? What is this? I wonder. <gasps> Shapes in the deep. Oh, no. Uh, the relic. We found the relic. Fantastic. Return to the collector. Lovely. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. We've got to go. We've got to go. We've got to go. We've got to go. Get out. Go, 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 go. Whoa. Now stop before I smash into the rocks. Beautiful. That that went better than I expected. Right, let's um, go. Oh, what the? No, no, you're a ghost. No, I don't care for ghosts. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Doc. Just doc. It'll go away. Okay, cool. Right. So, this. So, we've got the snailfish, a gulper eel as well. Now, uh, we needed pursuits. What is it? Catch a tiger mackerel. Catch rare fish. Report gulper eel location to traveling merchant. Okay, so when we've caught one, then we just need to say, oh, this is where I caught it. Okay, so, so I don't actually need that one. Collect all samples. A loose jaw, a snailfish, an anglerfish, and a giant amphipod. Okay. Wait, did that say I had a new message? Oh, a note. A fisherman's note. Deep sky, deep sky, deep forever. What? Casket seal broken, fog core. Five equals rise. He knows. I don't remember seeing that. Huh. Interesting. Right, let's get you some rest, buddy. That'll do, yeah? And then let's... Mm, now, do I... How am I getting... Oh, well, I need to return the fish to the scientist lady. 
Let's just do that first. Let's do the... Oh, don't go over the center. <laughs> oh, wait. Hang on a minute. Can I fish this now? Is this abyssal? Is this abyssal? Oh, it's, no, it's shallow. I don't have the right stuff for shallow now. That's fine. We'll, we'll figure it out. Right, so if I dart around the outside, I think I can get to the thing, the research fort. And I've got two of the fish that she needs. Meow. A radiant squid. How exciting. Oh, good. The lights are dying. Fortunately, it's almost morning. It feels like there's something chasing me. I don't think there is, but it feels like there is. <laughs> don't think there is. Another fish. Twelve fish. Ah, ah, ah. Again, I assume they stay fresh in the net. Uh, right, researcher. Oh, hello again. What do you need? About those samples. Uh, so I've got you a uh, snail fish. And I've got you a giant amphipod. I just need a loose jaw and an anglerfish. Oh, so these are both the abyssal ones, not the Hadar ones. Weird. Uh, I'm just gonna put that there. A jewel encrusted band. A golden band, large enough to fit around a child's wrist. All manner of gemstones are affixed to it, seemingly at random. Uh, is that not the wedding ring? The engagement ring from the woman? Is there anything else? No, thank you. Um. Right, disembark. Let's go back round to the thingy and sell this fish. <laughs> okay, but most important, did it get buffered by a dog? At any point in its existence, was this vomited up by a dog? <laughs> These are the questions. Meow. <laughs> I've got such epic music at 10 o'clock in the morning. What's chasing me? Nothing. I don't have coastal anymore. I have. I am an abyssal, abyssal, or abyssal fisher now. I'm going to dredge this because I'm going to go straight to my storage. Pew, pew, pew. Lovely. Oh, it's a research part. Excellent. So it's not always the lumber and stuff that it says. Okay. It could be research parts as well. Uh, I think I'd be okay having a dog or something like that that coughed up jewelry. I mean, not jewelry that it ate. Let's be, let's be honest. But if you just like invent, like ambergris for dogs, right? Like that's like whale vomit, isn't it? But it's really expensive if you get any, or if you find any. I think it's whale vomit or something vomit. Thirteen fish. I definitely need to sell these fish. Oh, I didn't catch a thingy. I didn't catch anything cool, did I? Uh, no, only the radiant squid. It's so radiant. Okay. Uh, fish market. Yep. Sweet. Just take everything. Three hundred and twenty-eight. Fantastic. Uh, and now my storage, please. Because I need to store all of this crap. Oh, no, not that. And then that. Oh, I don't have the space. Yes, I do. I just haven't made it yet. There we go. Now I've got space for them. Master inventory person. Ooh, I won't. No, I'm not going to need extra space. I was thinking about taking the net off for a minute. So I can catch more fish, but it's not gonna it's not gonna matter because I only need to catch two actual fish, don't I? Now I wonder That angler fish that chases me as a boat, I that's not something I'd be able to catch, I'm guessing. That's an event rather than natural fish. I'm gonna guess the actual fish I can catch would be on the on the water itself. Wow, that is a sexy looking jellyfish. Whoa. Bright purple jellyfish. Uh, oh, what's this? 
Stone homes quietly. I don't, I'm not touching your damn stones. Get, go away. <laughs> That's the wrong part I was sailing towards then. Uh, yeah, this one. I'm not touching your weird rocks. I don't have anything in my encyclopedia about these fish, do I? Uh, Stella Basin, uh, Aberration of something, no, I uh, just want Abyssal and Stella Basin, yeah, Stella Basin, no, because I haven't caught them, I don't know anything about them, no, no, I've caught nothing Abyssal from the Stella Basin, okay, well, we can find out. Uh, this is the research station. So this is where we are going to... Oh, hello. Not quite sure what that was. That might be an indication that I need to rest, but I'm not sure. And I'm probably going to rest just for a couple of hours. That'll do it. Um, the repulsion machine you installed is still connected to the generator. Activate the machine. Yes. It hums and whirs. Fantastic. Let's get out of here. Now, let's go catch some fish, shall we? Let's go catch some fish. No, that's not what I wanted. Let's go catch some fish. If there's any fish here to catch still. Not, I'm not overly convinced there's any fish here, in all honesty. Do I have to go right over the thing? There. What's this? No, you are still thingy. Yep. You are still that. I don't need that. What are these? No. It's still Hadal. I don't need Hadal fish. I need Abyssal fish. I require fish of the abyss. Give me fish of the abyss, please. Please give me fish of the abyss. Oh my days. I did not realize you were behind me. You, I need to get rid of you whilst I still can. I wonder if it's because I've got my, my trawler net up. I wonder if that has anything to do with it. Oh, well that seemed to get rid of that, so who knows. Uh, no. Let's, oh, just in case I need to make a hasty retreat. Whoa! Ow! My bottomless line is disabled. Fantastic. Yeah, my bottomless line is disabled. I'm, I'm broken. I'm busted. I need to be fixed. I wonder if they're daytime fish then, because we've searched it twice at night. I say searched, I've looked twice at night, and I can't find any. Unless it's like you lot, what are you? You are disturbed water, shallow, no. I'm definitely looking for some abyss fish. Oh no, fuck off. Get fucking out of this. Uh, Right. This is the pontoon. Yeah. Completely confused myself then. Definitely the pontoon. Okay. Cool. Fix me. Fix me up. First nice weather all winter and the neighbor is loudly revving his Harley Davidson outside my office window. Happy spring. Oh, God. That sounds like a nightmare. Sorry about that, dude. Uh, shipyard. Yes. One of the things I really miss about... We used to live in a house... I'd say in the country. It wasn't in the country, but it was in a village. And one of the things I really miss about it is the peace. Because we don't we don't get any peace here. We live near a bus depot. So we really don't get any any rest, any like peace here. And there's no like quiet days or quiet nights or anything like that. We didn't really realise that until recently. Um let's rest a little. That'll do it. Yeah. Yeah, that's coming back out. That's absolutely fine. It's still early. Let's just nip this way and then nip that way. Good, 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 good. Whew. Good. 
good. This thing's going to be so angry with me. Oh, I wasn't paying attention to how hot my engines were running then. That was a bit silly of me, wasn't it? Right. I'm now going to have to wait until the next de the next daytime so so we can search properly during the day. Otherwise, it's just going to be me searching for like an hour and then it being nighttime. So we've, we've searched twice during the day. Okay, sweet. Generator. The repulsion machine is there. Act wait. Yeah, activate. Cool. Activate the repulsion machine. And, yep, that's cool. You live in the suburbs, so for the most part, it's like it's not like bustling loudness, but this particular town has many loud cars and motorcycles for no reason. Oh, great. <laughs> Just because, right? What are you? You are Hadal. I don't need you. You are Hadal. I don't need you. You are Dredge. I'm not taking you. You're also Hadal. I don't need you. You're also Hadal. I don't need you. How do you find walking abyss fish? Abyss fish. Give me your abyss fish. How do I get abyss fish? Absolutely no clue how I find abyss fish. No clue whatsoever. Something vibrated then, and I'm not sure what that was. Well, let's catch some of these. Oh, lovely. Lovely. Right, that's been completely fished. How about this bit? Nope, that's not a fish. Where's this? Ooh, trinkets. Oh god, what happens if that runs out when I'm... Oh, a sextet. What happens if that runs out when I'm actually fishing something? So many snailfish. Oh, well, I guess I find out, right? Go! Time to leave! Oh. Spicy. Right, I'm going to head back to the collector and turn this ring in. So that's three of the main quest items. Well, I think main quest items. As far as I know, that's the main quest. Three of the five. Come on, reel me in. Fish market. Lovely stuff. Excellent. Right, now, if I release myself, and then manifest myself, bam! Lovely. Now I'm back here. Excellent. Just chudder me forwards. Oh, chudder me forwards. Shiver me timbers and chudder me forwards. Go to my storage. And then remove this. And then go to the mansion. You walk in and place the jewel encrusted ring on the table by the collector. His eyes widen. Ah, we're certainly making excellent progress now. And I know what you're thinking. An item like this would fetch a fortune at my auction. But for us... Its value transcends material wealth. Regardless, you are due a reward. He opens the crimson book, its spine cracking audibly. Selecting a page carefully, he begins to read aloud. The words sound muffled, as though he's speaking through a thick haze. 
You hear a growing crackling in your ears. Suddenly, your vision flares and both your ears pop. He closes the book. We must keep searching. I've been thinking more on where we might find another. I can imagine all manner of detritus swallowed up by the silty murk in Twisted Strand's channels. It's worth investigating. I'll mark the location on your map where you can begin your search. Anything else? The words from the book you just read, what did they do? Uh, banish. The banishing words will provide you a temporary protection from most things. If spoken swiftly enough, they can be used defensively. Choose your moment carefully. The more they are spoken, the more they are understood. There are other powers you wish to speak of? Nope, I'm good, thank you. Right, let me go see if the anglerfish is knocking about. And if banish, banish, can dispel most evils for a time, we'll turn it into a normal fish, maybe. So let's turn my light off a second. Oh no, I want my light on, don't I? I want my horn. There, you, oi. Oh, not the whirlwind. I want the fish. Yeah, come here. Oh my god, what is that? Right, oi, come here. Is this is this the fish? No, that's disturbed water. It's a flare. That's all it is. It's a flare. Right, lovely. That didn't work. That didn't work how I anticipated at all. No, no, thank you. Oh, that's that rock came out of nowhere. That rock literally came out of nowhere. Is this now on cooldown? Oh yeah, it is. Balls. Uh, I don't know where I'm going. What is this? A slab of rock juts from the water, bearing crude symbols of curved fish. At its base, a rough shape has been chiseled away. What? Curved fish. Oh, like cod. Okay. Uh, I don't know where I am, so I need to make a mark here. This is an unknown. I, it's, a, it's a weird. There. That'll do it. I think, yep, that'll do it. Right, let's see if I can get around the corner without getting munched by something. Am I near Little Marrow or Big Marrow? One of the Marrow? Oh dear, that's a rock. One of the marrows? I think I'm near one of the marrows at the very least. Uh, turn my light back on, thank you. I'm near Big Marrow, good. Let's go get some rest. And then go sell some of my other trinkets that I've accumulated. The lighthouse keeper approaches you on the dock wearing a questioning expression. You must have been around most of the islands by now. Have you found whatever it is you are looking for? I'm not sure. Her face softens. Remember that you are in control. If you're having doubts, it's foolish to blindly persevere. You can always look for alternative paths. She turns to you, shaking her head and muttering. She heads back towards the lighthouse. They all know summits up. They all know summits up. There we go, that'll do it for now. We Off we go. Do 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 Yeah, anglerfish and loose jaw. Definitely not two things I'm used to that are are there. Maybe I'll find them elsewhere, who knows? Let's go sell some trinkets. I need my storage and I need all of my trinkets. That 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 No that's not a trinket. <laughs> this sextet uh, I mean, I could sell that. I can't sell it here, but I could sell it. I still don't know what to do with this. The large scrap of paper. Uh, right. Oh, maybe the dock worker knows it. Or maybe I should speak to people about it. Uh, sell everything. $300. Lovely. Thank you very much. Anything else? No? Okay. Uh, what about the grieving father? 
Uh, hello, is everything okay? That's it. And dock worker. Nope, nothing from the dock worker. Okay. Let's go talk to some people in Great Mara. Because I feel like uh, this scrap of paper means something. This map means something. I'm just not sure what. Our oh, boat looks like an actual boat now. It looks like it's proper seaworthy and everything. Uh, let's talk to the mayor. And what can I do for you? I see. Um, I want to ask about the wider region. Mm, certainly. Is there somewhere in particular you wish to know more about? Actually, no, there's not. Uh, do you know any shipwrecks around here? What are strange occurrences? What happened to the last... What happened to the last fisherman? Mm, the last fisherman? Oh, uh, he was very unreliable. He'd go out at night, come back with no fish, and proceed to sleep all day. He was also a terrible captain. I mean, really terrible. Constantly running around on the reef, even in broad daylight. The shipwright almost ran out of wood for repairs. No, he was no good. One evening he left and never came back. So long, he shan't be missed by us. Now, what else can I do for you? Nothing. That's fine. Let's go to the lighthouse keeper. What is it? I've been finding relics for the collector. <gasps> relics? Collector? I'm not sure what you're hoping to achieve with this character. Do you even know? Have you stopped to consider it? No. <laughs> My Alex is haunted. Uh, right, research. I have one part and I'm going to use it on... I was going to use it on something specific, wasn't I? Wasn't I? Oh, what was I going to use it on? Ooh, a tempered mesh net. Ooh. I can't remember what I was going to use it on now. <gasps> a jet drive engine, a relatively new design. This unit propels water through the system more efficiently than outboard propeller setups. Spend it on that. <laughs> uh, do dry dock. What are we working towards now? What scrap have we got? Well, what's what's better for us this this lumber uh, lumber oh dear uh, lumber we might have enough for this as well my god so many upgrades yep we've got enough for this we've got more cargo space all the cargo space <laughs> Awesome. Uh, can I purchase that? Yeah, I can. More cargo space. We've got one more engine space for two lumber and one and uh, three scrap. But in storage, we have three lumber, one scrap. That's it. Is, can we get in for three lumber, one scrap? One, three lumber, one scrap? Uh, no, close. We get two more rod spaces for three lumber, one scrap, and one cloth. So I'll tell you what, I'll put them towards that. So that'll uh, clear up some of the... Um, storage space as well and actually i can then sell my deep sea diving thing my thing the researcher gave me oops oh come on awesome and then go back to the dry dock nope the ship the shipwright even and then go and sell this yes oh wait hang on a minute Sell. Sell? No. Sell? Wait, why can't I sell? Do I sell it to you? No. Why can't I sell this? Oh, wait. I shouldn't... I don't need to use that, do I? Because I can sell this one. Oh, I wonder if that's what I need. I wonder if I have to use this for those fish. Don't know. We will find out. That would be annoying. Because I've got something that does Abyssal and Hadal here. That would be very annoying. Right, so what have we got? We've got 860. What nets do we have? More engines. Whoa. 
Wow, those are some big lights. Oh boy. Incandescent array. Tungsten floodlight. 2,100 lumens. I've got at the minute 1,400 lumens. Because I've got two of, yeah, two of these. Or 1,500. So that's 600 lumen difference. Range 98 feet. Range 65. That would be better. That would be brilliant though, that three. But I haven't got uh, light space. And that's 315. No, I think the the nets and the engine are going to be the better one. Improved troll net. Is that what I've got? Yeah, I've got an improved troll net. Okay. Cool. And we've spent all of our research points. Yep. Yeah. Awesome stuff. Right. I am going to leave it there. I think the only thing I may do if I get time before next week is go and earn some money. That's it. I won't do anything story-wise or anything like that. So we'll all be up to date, but that's going to be me, really. Um, so, for the purposes of YouTube, this is episode three of my playthrough through Dredge. I hope you've enjoyed it half as much as I've enjoyed uh, recording it. I was such fun. I really like this game. It's got a bit of spook in it. It's got a bit of, you know, making the numbers go up with management simming and stuff like this. And I really, ah, oh, I want to find out what happened. I kind of want to find out what's happened to this place. Like, what's the coffin? What's the fog what's everything what what are all this all these things what happened to the previous fishermen why does the ship look exactly like mine do they just have a big stack of these boats i don't know anyway for the outro for youtube i hope you stay safe you stay spooky and i hope to see you next time oh and if you want to join us live on twitch please feel free to every tuesday and thursday over on twitch.tv forward slash wholesome horror gaming or live right here on youtube thanks very much everyone i'll see you later